ladies, how's it going? I am Victor Garsley. I'm the Crow Boy. I am Mr. Graves. I am Frank and Gene. And you are here on Sin and Gin Podcast, the podcast where we play games, we tell facts, we tell the latest news stories, and we are just four guys looking to replace amputees' arms with animal arms. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, sorry if this uh, is your first time. This is... Uh, <laughs> It normally doesn't get so dark so early. We normally get into the second segment. <laughs> How are we replacing these um, these ends? Well, that's why we're researching, Dave. I'm oh, trying yeah. to think about what arms I would want. Oh, you might um, enjoy you might enjoy my fact later then. I I, I, I want hooves. I want what? I want clippity cloppity hooves. I mean, very practical for fast movement across. Like if you're late for your train, not Imp- very good for uh, typing. Not very good for fa- door handles anywhere. Why would you get hooves if you want to be fast? But surely you'd get like leopard legs. Leopard legs. No, no, because because I mean, a horses are built for literally long distance. No, I'd get hooves and then go into professional boxing. Oh. Uh, built for long distance. Uh, but, yeah, just I smack just, them with I'd a want fucking hoof. Horses known for their boxing capability, obviously. <laughs> I would yeah. want baby, <laughs> elephant. baby elephant arms. Baby elephant arms for me. I reckon I could do a killer hand stand think... if I had those. Oh, you all pick a very impressive. I mean, monkey would be the obvious one. But then I'd yeah. have but then almost that's like the same. It's all right, uh, raccoons because they've got very de- dexterous little fingers. <laughs> and I look like I'm scheming every every ten ten minutes. <laughs> Go and steal um, steal the cat food out. Uh, Matt, what is yeah. this show and what is it about? <laughs> oh. So far, it's about uh, animal. Uh, oh. I, I, you keep saying this. I keep saying this is Sin and Jim podcast, a podcast where we tell games and we play tell facts games. and we we smell news. <laughs> we smell news. It smells great. And I always explain that, and then you go, "So what's the podcast about?" And I'm like, "I've just explained it." Yeah, but what we got? What we got on the show? Well, this week we've got a new setup. We got Count Factula. We got the game <laughs> Shit News <laughs> and the Black before, but A bit more description this time. Around. Yeah, that yeah. we got the same thing we do every week, Pinky. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's not exactly the same. You've got a slight, slightly every week. I see you've got a new room set up. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, um, changed the physics of your room this week as well, made it. Yeah, it's very narrow. <laughs> well, I, I had Forced to perspective. Uh, yeah, um, I had to get a. Uh, uh, I got a, sent a monitor from my work, um, and it it works so much better than trying to use a fifty inch TV to try and like <laughs> work it. Now that I've got a monitor in front of me, and so yeah, that's that's why that's why I've changed my setup. Sorry, I still can't get over the pinky things. The same we do it every week. <laughs> Record another podcast, <laughs> mate. Hi, Brad. Can I just point out how? Uh, Incredible Animaniacs was as a suite oh, of God. programs. Oh. Yeah, it's been made. You're aware they've got a new a new one. At like, I bet it's shit though. It's made again. I bet it's I made bet by it's the shit. same people. It's made by the same. Nah, people. but they're older uh, now. Yeah, they're old. It's like the Simpsons. Same uh, yeah. same voice cast as well. Yeah, it's gonna be shit. But they'll be like, and we're the Animaniacs. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, to the snow. Yeah. It's a bit like they've made Space Jam too. Oh, Probably no God. need for that, is there? No. I might sound old and I might sound old and bitter, but is it not time for more franchises? New yeah, franchises. There, there, does, yeah. there does need to be some new films, like or new things. Like video games is a like, prime example. They're, they're even doing Spike. Is it Spike? No, uh, Lava Girl. Lava and, Girl and awkward shit. Yeah, Sharp Boy. No, Lava Lava Girl and Sharp Boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but, but they couldn't get Taylor. They couldn't even get the the only person that made it big after that, Taylor Lautner. Uh, to and, be back yeah, in it, and he's not even in any work at the moment, is he? <laughs> well, I say he's the biggest one in it. He was in Twilight <laughs> as a oh, wolf right. boy sex pants. Oh, uh, right, who took his top off? Yeah, yeah but boy, sex pants. I mean, there's a thing in a minute. I mean, there was a real thing about remaking films like a couple of years ago, and now it's video games. He's got the same treatment. It's like, oh, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy Seven, remake, remake, Ooh, remake. Um, Resident Evil. That's the one. But like, uh, there needs Dude. to be new IPs. I think so. Matt, what's your what's your pitch? What's your new uh, franchise? Super franchise. Well, I mean, we've already got a great franchise already coming up, which is the Uno. Um, the, the Uno, Uno the as Uno, in like the, the Uno film. Card game. Well, yeah. like, is it as in reverse it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so my pitch is a 
I can't tell if you've been serious about the Uno thing. No, no, we've already spoken about this. It's a, it's a. Have we? Yes, it's an Uno, um, Uno film that's coming out. Oh, what next? Happy Families? No, Jenga. I'm going to bring out a Jenga film. (laughs) Okay, what's your what's your pitch? What I've got to pitch it to you now. Yeah, pitch me, pitch me your franchise. What my gen? Oh, my new franchise. Your new brand new franchise. <laughs> Did you prepare for this? Right? No prep for this whatsoever. <laughs> what? Stra- strap yourself in, lads. <laughs> Let's go for it. It's the year 2015. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Six years ago. Six years ago, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's quick um, math. A man arises from his bed, tired and disheveled. That's oh. me in 2015. When, when he goes. To work at the zoo where he works at. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes there. And he looks after the lizards. Cliff the lizard fella. And he's looking after them and feeding them. And then suddenly he was bitten <gasps> by, oh. a radi- by a radioactive wildebeest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. In the lizard section. He's in the lizard section. <laughs> yeah, it's it just sort of stampeded in. And a hog fucked him up, man. It fucked him. him up. Bit him on the big toe. Yeah, and now. <laughs> He's got the power of the wildebeest, which is super large shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I count, I count a pitch to you, uh, Voodoo Jack Rabbit. <laughs> okay, uh, what, what, this, what's your pitch? Uh, it's, it sounds like it's for kids, but um, he's a hypersexual being from from uh, the nonce verse. <laughs> <laughs> A hypersexual paedophile. <laughs> where, where, where Gary Glitter is king. Yeah, oh, and um, and then the humanity has to fight against these voodoo jackrabbits who are all, also nonces. I mean, to be how fair, much? It, how it, much it, will you give me? I mean, I'm I'm trying to find my own film at the moment. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> You're fighting a losing battle with these films a, against each other. Uh, can I can I pitch? Can I yeah, make? go on and go. On, what's your pitch? Right. But, I, made a whole segment out the, of the intro. I was very, I was very, very passionate about Power Rangers back in the day, so I feel oh, like very I good. want to make a new Power Rangers. So hear me out. Wait, when we're we talking about not humans. reviving things, no, no, yeah. no, no. This isn't Power Rangers. This okay, is okay, okay. The, the general premise. So this is we Ranger have Power. people yeah. like sort of yeah, humans and everything, but then when they transform, they get animal arms, and we should call it. <laughs> <laughs> we should call it. We should call it the Annie Army. <laughs> yeah, the army. I thought you were going to go down the route of you know like Power Rangers is famously reused footage from what is it <laughs> uh, Mega something men or something yeah. I don't know someone would not, Super Sentai shit. Super Sentai that's it mm. so it's reused footage when they're actually in the Power Rangers clobber it's actually mm. from a different long running Japanese show I thought you were going to say right. it's like Power Rangers but uh, just those clips of regular Japanese people. <laughs> <laughs> just all right, just, Mate, just right like now a, going for right dinner. Down. Right down, that'd be Project Two. But yeah, yeah. No, the I just, army. Dave, do you have a film from zoos? <laughs> Mighty Morphin, regular Japanese man. <laughs> <laughs> What's your film, Dave? Dave's um, looking around his room for something to inspire. Him. <laughs> I've been enjoying these movie ideas so much. I'm thinking about one. Uh, uh, my film is about oh, hardwood floor boy. I feel like I've literally just come back to school on a Monday right now and didn't do anything. Every weekend. My film is about what's the closest thing to you? And can Vin Diesel be the main character? <laughs> yeah, Doria and- man, and he is the power to amaze people. He's the power to. Arts. He's the power to close down my favourite venues. <laughs> he has the power. To, no, that's Ken Livingstone story. Ah, uh, boo! Uh, that piece of boo. shit. Um, that, uh, he's a villain. Uh, uh, my story is about uh, fucking Vin Gloria. Diesel versus Ken Livingstone. The movie. <laughs> yeah. There we are. There's Vin the Diesel movie. He plays Captain Captain Astoria, who is the saviour of London, who stops Ken Livingstone. The saviour of London bullshit. gigs. London he, 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 he saves like the 12 bar <laughs> club and stuff yeah he saves all those oh. venues and then at the end like you think the film's going to end with him having a great time and then the incident turns up and it all just goes to shit and it's yeah. a bad end yeah. 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 Oh. yeah the moment he saves the venues incident man comes incident well that's comes uh, wasn't that always him the fighting the incident <laughs> wasn't that fun um, this has been Sin and Gin thanks for <laughs> tuning in <laughs> Uh, let's let's do a, let's do some facts with each other among friends. Just little okay. facts among friends. Okay. Uh, go wake him. Go wa- <laughs> okay. Go wake him up, Ash. Go wake him up. Give him a shake. Give him a shake. I hey, come. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello.
Oh, Get the okay. fuck up oh. here! It's your time. Oh, is it? Oh my god! I'm so sorry. Is it time? Oh it my is. god! Time I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry. I'm fast asleep. Oh my god! Yeah, Quick, let me let me put, chin. Let sort me, yourself out. Let me put on my pantaloons and I'm there. <laughs> it's Count Factual. Uh, I've got facts for you. You've got facts for me. Well, here comes Count Factula to train you with his facts. I am Count Factula. Ha ha ha. <sighs> Count factually, you've got quite the lilt on you today. What's going um, on over there? I'm just having a <laughs> lovely time. I've been up to spa. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, blood. that's it. <laughs> that's it. All the blood is <laughs> dispersed for his cold, dead body. Right. And, he's <laughs> and, he, and he's feeling he's feeling relaxed. Well, welcome to Count Factual. This is the segment of the show where we amaze each other, outstand each other, mm. and tickle each other's fancies with a little fact. Um, so we've researched these facts. Uh, sometimes we research them really well, and sometimes we find them five minutes before the podcast. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, today, yeah. So uh, this week, let's start with Mr. Ashley. And it's fantastic, Mr. Ashley. Uh, yeah, go. that's good. All right, I am <laughs> going back to a, a day-old age of... Yonder, a day old age. Yesterday, they go like, for yeah, yeah. Going with a cluster. Oh, because, oh, a cluster. A Funny enough, uh, Ash has pulled I, out the cluster fuck no, cards. No, no, I, as jo- as Joe says, it's a branch. Of facts. It's a branch of facts. Branch of facts. It's a branch of facts. Right. I apologise. I, I a trailing I entrail of facts. But I um, decided to have a quick look into some. In fact, about North Korea, because we oh, all God. know how much I love dictatorship. No, you I'm do. <laughs> but, you love it, man. You've decided to I update. So you've much. decided to update yourself on the more modern ones. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, so cool. basically, these are some of these you'll probably know already, and some will probably not be known by anybody. <laughs> so um, I've got twenty short facts. Um, but 20? going starting with 20? Yeah, 20. Yeah, 20. That's not a Some cluster. That's a that fucking long. barrage. Don't worry, it's <laughs> it's an artillery fire. <laughs> look, go on. Look. Go, Do go you on. Want to hear about North Korea or not? Let's yeah. hear, hear us with North yeah. Korean facts. Okay. Well, turns out, number one, the North Korean calendar is based on its founder state of birth. So it says, maybe the 21st century for the rest of the world, but for North Korea, it's still the 106th Jutch year. The North Korean Jutch calendar begins from April 15th, 1912, the date of birth of its founder, Kim Il Sung. What, what did they reckon happened before that? Like nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing nothing happened, Joe. <laughs> nothing. So um, North Korea only has three TV channels, which are all controlled by the government. Um, it's one of the CBBS. It is. It's not CBBS, unfortunately. <laughs> it's um, yeah. It's um, King GBS. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Come on, kids. Join in on King GBs. King GBs. Yeah, well, Kim GBs. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Um, uh, number three, the power is cut every night in North Korea, and it's apparently to do with not being able to sustain electricity to homes in the country. Wow. Um, well, imagine if you had in charge North- a phone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Elections in North Korea only have one candidate to choose from. Including mayor, mayor and provincial and governors or local assemblies. Hey, so what's the go- point? I know a yearly election, and there's only ever one candidate. But for they don't. Those. What's weird about that is they don't. As far as I know, they don't pretend to be democratic. So why bother? And just I feels like a lot of time place. wasted. It's, it is so like pretty that's much. the UN coming and being yeah. like, "You have to do it." Mm. <laughs> yeah. Number five. Number five. Parents have to provide desks and chairs for their kids at school. So it says parents who send their kids to school are required to provide their own desks and chairs. Some students are also forced to do laborious tasks for the government, such as collecting discarded material. Uh, This one is fairly common knowledge, I would say, the three-generation punishment rule. So it says, um, basically, that if one person commits a crime, their entire bloodline, including grandparents, parents and children, are sent to prison. I think that's good. Bring that that, that in. Bring that. Maybe less people will commit fucking crimes then. I think the more it should be more reverse. If your kids are wanking, then you're more likely to give them a slap. Well, not like, you know, like physically beat them, but if your kids yeah. are a dickhead, then at least mm. the parents can get a slap. I, beat for it. I would like the idea if you did a crime that your dad had to go in with you and he would just beat the absolute <laughs> fucking shit out of you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so number seven, you might be held captive for being creative. It says, um, one of the more popular stories uh, about Kim Jong il, he kidnapped a film director, Shin Sak. Mm. Shin Sak Okay and his wife actor Choi Young Lee 
1978 to inject creativity into North Korean films. Later in 1986, after being held against their will for almost a decade, Oof. the couple gradually earned the dictator's trust and escaped during a trip to Austria where they were promoting North Korean films. Uh, was that, uh, what was his name? Shin Sak Ok? Uh, sorry, yeah, it's Shin Sang Ok. It's Ok. It's like, it just says Ok. Was Shin like Sang, are you Ok? Are you Ok? Are you Shin okay? Sang, are you Ok? <laughs> was he Japanese and something uh, to do with the Godzilla film? Or something like I, that, I, or? I, I don't know, mate, to be okay. perfectly honest. I'll say the quick facts. You mean you haven't researched these 20 like, facts, really? <laughs> it's very <laughs> factual and it's me, all right? <laughs> uh, At least it's number, funny. number eight, uh, they have a propaganda village in the demilita- uh, de- Korean demilitarized zone. Uh, which okay. is basically a, a village that's made to look like that North Korea are uh, prospering economically. Um, mm-hmm. Apparently, from what uh, South Korean uh, people have said, from what they've seen, it looks like it's empty and they see a few workers in there here and there. Um, North Koreans can only visit 28 websites, which are all once again monitored by the government. And if you want to own a computer in North Korea, you have to have the government's permission to buy one. And they are incredibly expensive. Hot well. or not.com is one of them. <laughs> yep, it is. It it's is. Only, pic- is only pictures of one. Kim Jong Un. If you don't vote, Kim, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, they've um, this one. Uh, this one's uh, say common knowledge. Well, they preserve the dead body of Kim Jong Il when he's on um, he's on display for tourists in a glass Ugh. tomb. Uh, this one I found quite interesting. <laughs> Blue jeans are banned in the country Bastards. because because apparently <laughs> it's a symbol of U.S. imperialism. I'd so, say um, that's fair. Men are only only have twenty eight hairstyles to choose from. They're not allowed to have any other haircut apart from out of these twenty eight. Mm-hmm. This one, uh, no religious freedom. It says there's no religious freedom in North Korea. The country calls itself an atheist state and persecutes anyone who is seen practicing any religion. Really, that's yeah. actually very that's interesting. My interest now, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Um, it doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. To North, North yeah. Korea, <laughs> this one's, Off we um, go. <laughs> this one's a bit. Uh, Human waste was used as fertilizer. It says in 2008, when South Korea stopped sending fertilizers to North Korea, the country faced an acute shortage of fertilizer. So like everything else, a new law was made and citizens were asked to collect their shit and hand it over to the authorities to help the country's agriculture. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, if that makes sense. (laughs) I love it. I, I'm t- turning you around. Like, yeah, do you know what? Yeah, the, the, uh, the more of these you say, yeah. the more I'm like, <laughs> maybe okay. he's not such the a gov- bad guy. <laughs> the, go- the government controls who lives in the capital. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, um, yeah. Like that. yeah. 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 They, um, Imagine if London was not full of cunts. Need a, yeah, and to travel out of the capital, you need a travel certificate. Uh, yeah. It says anyone entering the, uh, uh, the capital city with uh, what they call a dirty vehicle, they'll be fined. Yeah. This one, so about dictators one, and dirty Dave, vehicles. This yeah. one, there's no ban on weed. It says it's ironic that the country which ignores basic rights of its citizens has freely available weed <laughs> or cannabis, which can be bought <laughs> from the roadside. Oh yeah, um, so it's an atheist state. Atheist and, and they, weed. And, oh, yeah. weed is legal. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, Wait. Yeah, um, they have. Um, Dave's left. They have. They have, they have public executions. Mm. Um, public Dave, they've executions. got. They've got public executions. <laughs> They what? have public executions. Public this one executions. is this one's completely stoned. North Korea has their own rules for basketball. Apparently, yeah, um, he's obsessed with in, basketball. He, he loves yeah, basketball. The North Korean basketball rules say that slam dunks are worth three points and field goals in the final three minutes of the game are worth eight points as opposed what? to normal two points. Isn't that, that would make it a lot more exciting with, um, if you were if you were down? Yeah, yeah. Um, it says his face from the Chicago Bulls. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dennis Rodman. Yeah, that's Robin, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, ban on music. King Jong Un's regime is always on the lookout for anything that may threaten his position. In 2015, King Jong Un issued a decree to scrap all cassette tapes and CD which had state banned songs because lyrics could propel dissent among citizens. Ah, uh, now I'm out. I'm out now. Yeah, lost it. Yeah, you had me with the tw- weed and the atheism. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. And then number twenty, North Korea spends huge money on the military, which I think is obvious, but. So this is quite evident from its frequent nuclear and missile tests. The country's economy might be in a dilapidated state with a majority of its population desperate for food, but it doesn't deter North Korea from spending about 20% of its GDP on its military. And a holus bolus fact, three, um, three North Koreans recently got charged in the US for basically hacking cryptocurrency to fund the military in North Korea as well. No way. So... I've read like 1.3 billion in cryptocurrency, apparently. Well, I did point out in one of my uh, a much earlier episodes that a lot, I mean, a lot of North Korea's funding, because it doesn't get any UN funding and it doesn't get yeah. a whole lot of terrorism, comes from illegal or That's illicit right, yeah. activity. Room 39, yeah. wasn't it? Room 39. Uh, one, of them, one of them as well, uh, one of the guys that got charged, um, he hacked Sony Pictures as well. I think he stole money from them as well. 
I'm but not so upset about that. Yeah, well, it just it's just like it's, I just it's a. Do you know what? Way, if you fix this to music thing, I will consider. I will consider it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I remember so, the last thing I heard about him was like his uncle was saying did something wrong, so he tied him to a rock and then shot him to pieces with an anti tank rifle, uh, like big anti tank gun. Yeah, he loves shooting uh, members of his own family, or like yeah. the guy. It wasn't this is another uncle that got um, killed in the airport by the women with the. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, with the drug with the drug in there. Anyway, yeah. um, so that was uh, Ash's smorgasbord of facts. Um, <laughs> Matthew, what have you got for us today? You little cheeky runt. Well, guys, I seem to keep going around the same time period because I find it absolutely Victorian times. No, earlier around the sixteenth, seventeenth century. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. Capital, uh, ca- cap- capital plague times. Yeah, because it was just <laughs> fucking lunacy. Um, so, guys. With, you know, the prospect of lockdown lifting and gigs coming back to us, Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're all looking forward to dancing. (laughs) You're going to say dying. (laughs) (laughs) We're looking forward to dying. Every day I look forward to dying. (laughs) (laughs) I don't dance. So in 1518... All right, Phil Collins. In July, in Strasbourg, France, there was a woman called... France. A woman called Frau Trafia. And one day she just went outside and she just started dancing. There was no music. There was so. Did you say? Did you say Footloose Town? <laughs> <laughs> In Footloose Town, Strasbourg, France. Um, uh, yeah. So for this Frau Trafair, uh, she went outside and started dancing without any music, and crowds started to gather around and cheer and clap to this lunatic woman. <laughs> She's and- a maniac. <laughs> and she kept dancing. She kept dancing for six whole days, night and day. And it got to the point of what the fuck is going on? And within a week, 34 people were doing the same thing. They were just dancing in the street. Uh, over the month, 400 people then started dancing. It's like mass hysteria or something. It was, a, yes. So what happened was nothing was stopping it. Um, Around 15 people were dying a day through um, heart attacks and exhaustion of just dancing. And so... The- was, it, was it the rude sandstorm? You just can't not. <laughs> yeah. Just continuously. On like flute. They They decided to... Talk to the uh, doctors and astronomers, obviously. Obviously, yeah. Um, and turned out, uh, according to them, uh, they had hot blood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hot blood. That makes so much sense. <laughs> da, 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 da. And, and apparently the only way to solve this hot blood was for them to dance more. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. That was working well for them. Man, yeah, man. it was working so, so well for them. So mm. they built a giant stage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they this hired on, on doctor's orders this as the well. Most up genocide I've ever well, heard. Basically, of. they Off they the hired, they built a giant stage. Uh, they hired musicians and to play the root sandstorm to kill to, them off to basically stop people dancing. They they, they it, the idea is that. Don't dance like that. Dance like this. Well, the, the, the idea was that their blood would cool down through dancing so much that they'd be fine. But then because music started playing, more people started dancing. The area heated up. Um, and it basically, it just kept going on. It, 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 it just kept dancing. Um, and there was, there was a, there was a thing where a large group of people decided to pray and they then... The While basic, dancing or just separately? Separately. They decided to pray. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So, a lot, please stop dancing, please. And <laughs> the, the, the leader of Strasbourg um, decided to ban all music and dancing. He just uh, was like, I ban it. Kim Jong-un. <laughs> but everyone's like, Never. fuck that. <laughs> See, and Kim Jong-un. how North Korea was made. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's not as powerful as Kim Jong-un. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And so what happened was, um, the reason because of this, 
was that there's two theories. One of them is the, I don't know if you remember me mentioning about um, the ergo uh, bread in Rye. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. I mentioned it ages ago on, on the podcast where it basically give, gave people like an LSD type mm. thing. There's a thing that might say that might have been part of it, but initially it was mass hysteria. So at the time, um, there was a lot of famine. They were terrified of religion. They were like, I can't do anything, otherwise God will smite me. And it, it, there was so much pressure of like, if I do something wrong, God will smite me, or I'll get put in the stocks, or all this. Sounds pretty French. And... <laughs> And basically, this it ha- it started happening, and people were almost like so depressed and so fucked up from this, like that everyone just. But then also peer pressure to yeah. dance started to happen. Well, and- yeah, I, I suppose I suppose it's that. I mean, it's, it's common in a lot of mass hysteria cases. It's like you get serious FOMO. You see the whole neighbourhoods out dancing. You're like, well. Why am I not dancing? Should I be dancing? I'm going to dance. Yeah, um, and and so they uh, they, they there's a sh- there was a shrine of sh- the shrine of Saint Vitus, and all these people were told to wear red shoes. Which people were unsure why, but a lot of people think it's to hide the blood. Oh, great! On the, in their feet, mm, they they lovely. were basically. They were told to march around this statue and pray whilst marching around this statue in order to cure the uh, this the dancing disease, the dancing plague. Did they get Did they get over it, or did they all die? What was the thing? Uh, they did get over it, but as I said, fifteen people a day was dying, and this went on <laughs> three months. Oh fuck! Yeah, I imagine fifteen months. people a day would die if Red and Festival went on for like three months. Yeah, yeah, like dysentery. Day. Um, yeah. But but things like this isn't so there's a there was a, a big thing with nuns um around the seventeen hundreds, um, with a similar thing where they would have so much stress from religious orders and so much you need to follow this or you're going to hell and don't sit on a stool like that or you're going to hell. And a mass hysteria mass hysteria um thing happened and all these nuns started pretending they were cats. Oh yeah, yeah, cat nuns. <laughs> yeah, your common cat garden nun. variety um, cat nun. <laughs> cat nun, lovely little baby. Did you say so? I'm still getting over the fact. Did you say it was in Strasbourg, France? Is yeah. that not in Austria? Am I, I going mad? Germany, Strasbourg. Uh, well, Maybe there's a couple of them. Probably be like a Strauss. Stru- no, uh, well, I thought Strasbourg was in Austria. But anyway, oh, anyway that's, that's, that's by the by. Michael Flatley. Uh, this is Berlin, <laughs> but all the research I was doing was saying France. Oh. Uh, that's probably by the by. It's not an important part of the. Uh, was it Strasbourg? Yeah, that's near Berlin. Very I German. don't know. Oh no, Strasbourg is situated in the eastern border of France with Germany. Oh, oh okay. so, so it's a French German sort of town then. Oh, yeah. Touching oh yeah, yeah, Strasbourg. Yeah, I was in France, but it's next to Germany, basically. Yeah, yeah. touching tips. Don't know touching why. Tips. I, don't know why I thought it was the. Uh... Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, the dancing disease. <laughs> <Ooh>. um, <laughs> Oops. And but oh sorry, just to add, yeah. um, they ended up hiring people, Mr. Muscle, when they thought that continuing to dance would solve the dancing problem. They then Michael even Fanny. hired people to like <laughs> hold. They hired people to hold up people collapsing so they could still dance whilst collapsing. <laughs> and they hired people to like hold Help them me. up so they can be like, honestly, I just want to fucking sit down now. Please, please drop me. Let me die. <laughs> Let me die, please. <laughs> so there we go. Amazing. Uh, That's terrifying though, at the same time, isn't it, really? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I just got lost a bit in to, to reading that Strasbourg, despite being a French city, no one speaks French there. They all speak German, which is probably why we thought it was in... Well, I thought it was in Austria, but you thought it was in Germany. Touching tips. <laughs> that's a whole That's a whole extra... That's a whole extra count faction of the whole bonus fact. Strasbourg's in France, but they speak German. Uh, Dave, what's your what's your fact this week? My fact, um, and I thought it was kind of suiting, seeing as like the way. Um, like, sorry, I'm just this, I'm sorry, I've just seen that you've changed. You no one will see this, but Dave's changed his name on Zoom to sit on my knee. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> forgot about that. Um, 
I can't remember why. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, over the last uh, during our lifespan, gaming has been quite a revolutionary thing that's going going on for computer our, gaming. Computer gaming, sorry, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Not, uh, not board games. They kind of stand stay the same, really. Uh, but video games have uh, changed over our lifespan from being that like, eight bit to sixteen bit to like the modern day four K games that we've got, which is crazy <laughs> when you actually think about it. Yeah, like I was um, playing Red Dead Redemption and I was like looking at the fucking grass and I was like. I was happy with Triangle Tits on PlayStation 1. <laughs> Our craft with her, like, yeah. Madonna. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird. It's, I mean, there's the one thing that stands out in my mind. On the last uh, Metal Gear Solid game, there's a part in it where you uh, walk through a door and you go back to the original Metal Gear Solid 1. And it goes back to the standard graphics that was in Metal Gear Solid 1. And I was playing it and I was like, holy shit, how did I play this? It just looked... Mm. But it looked amazing at the time. But that's yeah, it. Yeah. Incredible. Then, I remember being like, oh, wow, it's it's a human being. That's something actually there. You know, like you're looking down on it and stuff. It's and all that fucking sort of 3D, mate. Yeah, now it's like in your face and there's blood and shit going everywhere. But the main thing that's changed recently with gaming, I suppose in the last 10 years, is how gaming has involved money, how money is a different thing, especially with games becoming discless, like the new PS5. Mm-hmm. You can buy yep. a PS5 without a disc. Um, so the main thing that's amazed me is about uh, money spending on games. Now we all we all play Call of Duty, and with Call of Duty, the main way they make their money now because they release Warzone as a free game, or as we call it, Shooty Boys, Shooty Boys, um, <laughs> the old fashioned Shooty Boys, is the they do a thing called a battle pass. And um, I was amazed to look into money that's actually been spent on virtual things. What people have actually spent money on oh, things yeah. that don't actually exist. Wow. We all here, we're all guilty of that. We've all spent ten, twenty or so quid. Yep. On a on an outfit, skins on a character, well, gun well, skins and stuff. I know, I, I know. PUBG was like the original big one, but Fortnite has made is worth fucking billions, billions isn't it? Yeah. Uh, despite well, it being uh, technically a free, like you can download the game and play it perfectly fine for absolutely nothing. Yeah, you don't have to spend a penny on it to enjoy that game, but people but do, which people is your point. Spend a lot of money on it. Well, this is the thing. I then started looking into it, and games like that are literally nothing compared to something. There's this whole industry, um, which I'll come to in a minute, but I thought I'd break down some of the highest money spent ever on virtual things that, you know, physically Gone. don't yeah. exist. There's nothing to it. Um, so I thought I'd start with a blue party hat, which there was a game called RuneScape. I don't know if you guys remember that yeah, one. Yeah, RuneScape, yeah I remember yeah, RuneScape. Yeah. yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, so the blue party hat was literally a three uh, a freebie that came out during like the Christmas period that people would get from like a Christmas cracker or something mm-hmm. like that. Everyone binned it because it did nothing for it. One person kept it and he sold it for $4,500. Get out of money. town. I Imagine how out. good he must have felt about yeah. that. Imagine keeping that. and then you, So he sold it to someone else in the game for real money, for four. dollars I didn't realise there was a there was a underground transaction oh, market in RuneScape. Oh, there's, there's a, underground no. markets everywhere. RuneScape's mate. nothing to what you're going to hear in a minute. Yeah. Uh, Revenant no, RuneScape. Superior Carrier... Uh, from a game called Eve Online, someone spent nine thousand pound, uh, nine thousand dollars on a mm. ship in this game. Uh, mm. They spent nine thousand dollars to buy this ship, and then apparently within one day it was destroyed in the game by an enemy. Yep. Oh no! Against that nine There's grand, some, there like that. are some incredible stories about Eve Online. Tens of thousands of pounds being lost in ship battles and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. World it's of Warcraft. Crazy. What? Someone bought a, a level seventy elf for nine thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, a game called Diablo 3. Most of these games are like MMO, you know, massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Games, you can buy skins and stuff like that. Because realistically, the, the, the Battle Royale is the, is the they were, they, these MMOs were, were massive and are still, they still are massive, especially in Asian countries and, and America, to be fair. Yeah. But like, the they bat- were the, the, the Battle Royale is like the new, is like the new blood of this, the yeah. new big thing. But in, in the 2000s, yeah. if you're not familiar with video games, a mo- massively multiplayer online games were the the bread and butter from the early 2000s right up to the mid 2000s really mm-hmm. what was the one we all did was it Guild Wars was that Guild, Guild Wars 2 yeah, yeah we were talking about that the other day Guild yeah. Wars the yeah. Republic I so like those sort well. of games but this so this is where I started getting really interested by it because there's a there's a game called Entropia have you guys heard of that no, no made by a Swedish company so. in Gothenburg of all places to make it um, <laughs> it's a game where it's very it's just an open world MMO RPG game like that but it's pretty much based around spending real currency to actually use in the game in order to create things and build things and make things. Mm-hmm. So I was looking into it and I was looking into like reviews from actual people. And most people say, if you play this game, expect to spend $100 a month to play this game. If, you're spe- if you want to spend less than that, 
you ain't going to play this game sort of thing like that. That's like pretty much the general review. What? People who play, yeah, you're spunking $100 a month in this game. People use this game to make money and have actually made successful oh, yeah. businesses out of well, it. Well, so it's like, it's almost like it's its, it's, it's own virtual market. Pretty much. It's like its own crypto. Like it's going to be as volatile as any other economic market, really. It's yeah. a micro, it's a micro, a micro economic market. Yeah. So, I mean, for example, oh, interesting. Um, they, on the game, they built a place called Crystal Palace Space Station. Which, Crystal Palace? I, know, I, don't, I don't think it's just like, the football, the football like part. the football team. <laughs> yeah. um, this was like one of the biggest ever sales. Uh, it doesn't actually state what it is, but I think it was just a thing, like a, a place in this imaginary world of this RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. sold it for $330,000. Fuck. Um, but then hell. the one that's like was like the the thing that actually caught my attention to me started reading into this was a thing called Club Never Die. Now Club Never Die was literally a club. Who can say Club Penguin? Uh, a <laughs> nightclub on a um, on a like an asteroid in this universe of Entropia. So it's literally just a, like a little bit of you know like when you play any game where you like attack things and you build towns. It's literally just a little mm. building, and then like figures can walk in and out of it and stuff like that. Back yeah, yeah, when yeah. It originally yeah. was this dude originally bought it for. Is this still in the Swedish game? Yeah, this is still on Entropia, yeah. which I highly recommend. It's fascinating, quite really what's going on with it. Entropia. Entropia. This dude originally bought it for $10,000 and he sold it for $635,000. Fucking to another hell. person to own this bit of virtual nightclub what? in a game. Are right. you fucking serious? Yeah. Um, yeah. Your own, you could buy a few of your own nightclubs for that. I mean, this yeah. is... This you know is what I mean? this is fucking mental because I remember like what was the game that all the Americans were obsessed with and like people were cheating on their wives and stuff like Second Life. Yeah. Second Life, uh, that yeah, is a very yeah. similar kind of similar idea. Yeah. yeah, that's what's given me vibes of. But I didn't. This is a lot of money's being changed hands here. Well, Second Life. There are people that became multi millionaires from Second Life. Oh yeah, and yeah. They, they there were people that sold real estate in that game. Like sold like. Well, this um, sounds very. This, this is very yeah, similar. This sounds like, like yeah. this sounds like gold. Concept. This feels like platinum membership. Mm. Second yeah. Life. The, yeah. the, the, it, the I mean, it's a Swedish Gothenburg thing going on. I mean, yeah. there was um, someone tried to buy a planet. There was like one of the original built planets on this game of Entropia called Planet Calypso. Uh, they bought it for $6 million. Get the um, fuck it out. was going to be the world's biggest ever virtual transaction, but uh, after a couple of days, the sale didn't end up being completed. I think they backed out or something. It was a spare $6 million yeah. to spend on a buy, virtual to buy planet. A fake bit of data. Oh, and and also, what, like, what is the lifeline of these games? Like, you know, all, all this stuff is like, you know, World of Warcraft, don't get me wrong, people still play it and it is still popular, but it has massively died out. It's I don't know. I mean, I mean, if something makes you happy, then fine. I get what you mean, though. I, if I'm going to spend something that much on something, I'd want to be able to it be tangible. Show it off. I mean, from a power. You what? You'd want to show it off. Yeah, I thought yeah, you said you wanted to suck you off. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if it if it did that, Both. then it might be worth a bit more money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I spent a, ten pounds on it. A, a personal experience. Um, I used to play a game called Smite, um, which was like Smite. a MOBA, a third person MOBA game, and I played that for about three years. I think it was over time. Played it quite a lot, and they had um, the so you could buy gems to buy chests and stuff in that, which was like the loot box system. And I one day um, a couple of years ago, I went through my Xbox transactions because you can go back and look at all your purchase history. I worked out that over the three years of playing that game, I spent nearly six hundred quid on it. Fuck, which is crazy. When like it, you I'm don't even realise it. Yeah. it. Yeah. Like that was buying skins for for the gods and stuff like yeah. that. Like it just all oh, the chests to get certain ones. Wow. But I that really kind of that but was that, a. a Big eye opener that was. That, so I mean, like, that's how Jesus. all of these games get you. It's all about those microtransactions, yes. which you time, think you think a quid there, ten quid there, five, five quid it. there. Yeah, but, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you know, I've spent I've spent a bit of money on COD, uh, yeah. you know, and I've enjoyed it. I've got this new skin. Fuck it, I'll play it for a month. Great. Nice. Sometimes you'll spend a hundred quid on a night out. Not often, yeah, no, mind you. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not one of those where I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I did it. Because at the end of the day, like this was my daily game for years I used to play it so yeah, much three years 600 quid yeah that's it and that's 600 it. quid and 6 overall. million quid for one yeah. planet it's oh, a little, yeah, we're, definitely. we're talking definitely. Po- unless you are like Jeff Bezos and 6 million quid is literally like 600 quid for you it's like losing <laughs> a fiver yeah oh no um, Joe what's your fact my fact I'm going to read the headline of this fact because I think it uh, it will grab attention for sure in 1944 a physician, a physician, sorry, 
began ejaculating thousands of deadly parasite eggs in the name of science. Oh. Yeah? See this? That makes perfectly sense. All right. Well, that's okay, that's count factual. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> forbidden snacks. So basically, um, oh. we're, we're talking about ni- the 1940s. Um, we've come past the Victorian times where medicine was very weird, but we're also in... Oh, this is normal. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say. I think it's we've gone past the, the dancing hysteria. No, no, we've gone past. We've gone past. You know, like giving people leeches and and feeding them their own blood, and we're getting into almost medicine, but we're not quite. It's still weird as fuck. Like you had the guy who pumped hydrogen ass, uh, uh, hydrogen ass, hydrogen, hydrogen gas. Ga- <laughs> well, no, hydrogen it was ass gas. <laughs> well, it was that. It was he had the guy that pumped a hydrogen up his ass to, um, to see if people were leaking. Uh, because they had bullet wounds um, and shit like that in the in the forties. Oh yeah. Um, or oh, the doctor that drank um, someone with yellow. I mean, sorry. Can you imagine that? Like, you've got a bullet wound, but, but it's not like you wouldn't know where it was. <laughs> oh no, no, it was. It, it no, was no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it was for inter- It was for internal bleeding. Definitely Matt. got not- with him. Oh, oh <laughs> like, I'll say, like, yeah, you can tell if you've been shot on the outside. <laughs> like, like, you know, <laughs> It's like you know when you you know when you uh, you got like a blow up mattress and you know there's a hole somewhere. Yeah. Like, oh. No, no, it, it's for internal bleeding. Um, and then you had the guy who drank um, the vomit of yellow fever victims to see if he could give himself yellow fever. This is very much in that realm of science. Right. So um, he's not. He doesn't go down in the history books, but there's a couple of case studies written about him. There's a guy called Claude Barlow who was a doctor. And a researcher who was interested in, I'm going to get this wrong, uh, schistomyasis, a painful and chronic and usually fatal disease, which was going around. And it was caused by the trematode worm, um, which kind of got in people and was killing them. Um, uh, Yeah, basically it causes abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, anorexia, diarrhea, blood stools, and ultimately, usually death. Um, and the problem was the US troops, obviously being the Second World War, were going around to these countries and they were coming back with this disease. So it was a real problem. And they were spreading it because everyone obviously was in really tight tight quarters. Um, and uh, they were worried that also... So obviously we get, as we found out more recently, um, the diseases can and viruses can jump... Um, kind of barriers between animals and humans, um, which is how we think the incident happened. And unfortunately, this disease could also be transmitted to snails and then back again to humans. So they were worried all these troops would come back from from war, transmit it to the, your common variety snail, which are bloody everywhere, and then that would spread across the USA like wildfire. So it was like, we've got to do some research into this. Kill the snails. Well, he was he was basically out... out out there with the troops trying to work it out and he was trying to get US snails mailed to himself but they kept dying in transit so um, so he was like what are we going to do so he got 224 of these larva, larvae of this um, horrible worm thing and put them on his arm over the course of 21 days to let them in so he thought he's going to be the snail in the post you know um Apparently, this wasn't his first rodeo either. He'd, he'd transported parasitic words inside himself from China um, to do a study. So he's a bit of an old hat with this. Okay. Um, although, th- nice you know... a hobby. Yeah. And he came out He came out and did a load of shit. And um, his Thanks. colleagues wrote a load of um, papers on it. And they were quite successful. And they, they cured a load of stuff. Great. So he was like, I could do this. I'm, I'm not a one-trick pony. I'll do it with this fucking worm. Didn't go so well for him. Oh. Um, he and his mate Billy the Baboon, um, who they also Billy filled baboon. up, who they also filled up with. Yeah, he was okay. Uh, they also filled him up with a parasite and they um, oh. put him home on a plane. But he, he uh, Billy the Baboon, unfortunately escaped and terrified all the other passengers on the plane. Um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Imagine that. And had to be uh, had to. Sat and you're there like baboons are scary. Or well, he had, to, he had yeah, he, he had to be put down. So they kind of missed all the research on that. <laughs> the U.S. Marshal on that flight must have lost his shit. Yeah, my uh, the story is that what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is, my stories always take a weird turn that I seem to pick. Um, but basically, um, already when the baboon incident was taking place, he was going through sweats, dizzy spells. Um, but this was just the beginning. Um, 
11 weeks after his initial infection, uh, Barlow started developing a fever and began ejaculating eggs in his now brown semen. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, uh, as well as um, uh, difficulty breathing, nausea and blood in his urine. Um, just imagine that. And he couldn't control it either. He would just start randomly ejaculating eggs in his sperm. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I should have said, I should have said this. Uh, this is pretty gross. Oh, God. Uh, then after three months, his scrotum began extruding, excuding semen. And he had a massive... His scrotum? Yeah, it just came out of his scrotum. Oh, because it was just coming out of his cock anyway. So why Yeah, it started there? coming out of his scrotum and skip the middleman, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um the weird thing was because he was he was he was trying to get research on it while being incredibly ill, he did not seek any medical treatment. Um yeah, uh it, it basically so he got his his um his mates to study him, uh and his and, and his mates were like, mate, you you're you're dying. You're going to be dead. You're going to be a dead man. So he flew back to Egypt to seek treatment. Uh, a highly and risky, highly risky drug he was given. Um, and but it took a year and a half to finally stop leaking eggs out of his scrotum sure. and uh, um, and out and various other. So basically, all in all, um, he passed twelve thousand eggs a day. Um, and do you know what? The, them. Do you know what the funny thing was? <laughs> the whole point was the whole, well, because he was being studied every day by his colleagues. Fuck. Why the whole egg? thing. The whole or thing egg? was to to to, to do experiments on snails. That and that was the whole point of this experiment was to do these experiments on snails. And he became what, a human snail. Well, do you know what the funny thing was? They didn't have any snails in the lab. They had like a handful, and they all died. So in the end, he went through all of that. For nothing. For no reason. <laughs> oh, man. <mate. laughs> um, his sperm brown and started leaking eggs from his box. Uh, and the only thing they learned that was new, really, that they didn't already know about this, was you can ejaculate these eggs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me just like, well, that's new. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I hope everyone, I hope no one was... Um, Terrified. Ejaculating. Uh, I, I hope no one point. was either A eating or B ejaculating while they're listening to this podcast. Or C doing I know both. I know a couple of you sick fucks are. Um I hope that's bloody put you off, you dirty bastards. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's Claude Claude Barlow and his his miraculous brown ejaculates. Great. Related to Gary Barlow. <laughs> should we do a should we do a game to cleanse our palate? I think we shall I do. <laughs> uh on to the game. Introducing Juicy Crew's Butt Plug Game Pack. This awesome pack comes with Juicy Crew Beans, Super Slip and Slide Juicy Crew Lube, and the following Butt Plug Games. Butt Plug Darts! See what you can score with these Velcro-ended butt plugs, compatible dartboard, and your own flatulence! Mortar Launcher! So you can send these butt plugs to furthest. Remember, it's windage and elevation! Butt Plug Battleships! Set up your battleships, launch your butt plugs over the screen! Oh, you sunk my battleship! And Butt Plug Tug of War! With two or more players, use these handy hooks to connect your butt plugs and see who has the strongest sphincter! Juicy Cruise Butt Plug Games! There's something for everyone! Okay, let's play a game. Um, so I've got a new idea for a game for you guys. I'm, it's going to be called... Cool. It's going to be called... Cool? It's called... That sounds great. I hope it's not shit. And it's all about the amazing things behind taglines for movies. Do you know what taglines... Oh, I thought it was going to be about shit. It's about shit. I lied. Uh, no, it's about taglines. Um, famous films and lots of famous things have a tagline, which is like obviously a slogan for like products. For example, McDonald's has I'm loving it is the tagline. You know, little famous things that you that you kind of link to something famous, like a movie or a product or something Big like that. Alien. So I've uh, got one. What, sorry, sorry. Aliens got one. Isn't it? It's like it does. But shut up. Sorry. So that one's now deleted. And uh, but what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to look at your chest because there might be um, little scrubblies in it. Right. <laughs> That's the alien tagline. Yes. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to list off a load of famous taglines from films that I'm pretty sure you've all seen. 
uh, the aim of you guys is to tell me what film it's from. Pretty easy. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. okay. You have, you, have you put in your own ones? Are we working? Um, are we working as a team or are we working individually here? Because I feel like as, some, as soon as someone says one, everyone's going to know. True. Like we've come. We'll work as a team. We'll work as a okay, team. Okay, you be a team. It's a team effort. Yeah. Um, I didn't put any of my own in because some of them are just shit. So <laughs> <laughs> some of them. Some. Of them, I mean, like I was going to try and think of my own ones, but then some of them are literally just like, yeah, that I do. They won't get. I that. found that with like, the Transformers <laughs> thing. I almost were like was like. Do I need to make any up with these yeah. fucking terrible Transformer yeah. names? Like that's it. I just know some of these you're just not. Hell like, Spice. But they're <laughs> all famous films. I'm 99.9 percent sure you've all seen them. Okay, okay. Right. but okay. that's okay. it. It's still a tagline. So cool. Pretty, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. fun thing I will point out is listen to what I'm saying. Listen to the words I'm using because the taglines a lot of the times are pretty much hints to the film. They won't yeah. relate so much. Some of them you'll know because you'll recognize like it'd be a quote from the film, which would be like the famous line in the film, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the time it's almost like a description of what the film is if you've seen it. But we've all seen these films, I'm pretty sure. So we'll start with a really obvious one. Actually, we'll start with the second one because the first one was obvious, but Ash already fucking do- ruined it. Uh, in space, no one can hear you scream. Alien. Oh, how did you guess that? Oh, oh I didn't know that. Do it already. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not my. I've watched a lot of movies, but I'm not like a. I wouldn't call myself a movie buff. Well, then you're going to lose. There you are. <laughs> well, let's see how you're doing. Then. All right, number one. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, That's far. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Then let's get a little bit more difficult. Part man, part machine, all cop. Robocop. Robocop. Wankers. Nice planet. We'll take it. Independent. Oh, no. Mars attacks. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> you thought that was hard, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't I know watch that. films, really. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no, I said I've watched a lot of films. <laughs> I've not paid attention to their promotional campaigns. But they're in the, the subliminally in there. That's the thing. Like I started reading. Uh, I suppose so. like, oh yeah, shit. I know with this. So love never dies. Ooh. That's James Bond, isn't it? No. Love never love dies. Never dies. It yeah, does sound like it's a line from a James Bond film. It does. Love does sound never like, dies. Think uh, of um, love, love films. Dirty Dancing. That, that um, Woody <laughs> Bowl. That's what if I said two, the clumps. Correct. That's <laughs> your answer. <laughs> Fucking everything. I think. Think. Oh, um, Ghost. Love. No, but oh, you're yeah. you're going into the right area. Was that the one with Patrick Swayze in? Yeah, Ghost was Patrick Swayze. Yeah, but, I was going to say that. But, I would have thought that would have been right. I think you're kind of right, but you're kind of wrong still. You're you're heading towards Ghost the right. Ghost two, the clumps. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Ghost <laughs> two, the clumps. Uh, okay, so we're we're kind of right, but kind of wrong. Uh, this, love so never the, dies. The, the, the three words are love. Corpse, never corpse prize. dies. So yeah, yeah, again, you're in the kind of right frame of mind. If you uh, give up, just tell me, you know. No, it's we must be close. <laughs> We've got corpse. Um, love never dies. A night before oh, Christmas. Oh, Who, um, what is a, a love story, which is also... So, let me give you a clue. What's a love story, which is technically a horror story that never dies? Adam's Family? No. Oh, uh, God. It's, it's going to be like a zombie film. No. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's going to be where someone's so, in love with a, like a ghost or something. It's a horror... It's a horror era. It's not a it's horror like film, so to speak. Something like no, that. No, no, no. Older. Go back to, like, think around more of the era of ghost. So the 80, um, late 80s, early 90s. I'll okay. give you another clue. Fuck. It's also a um, famous book. Oh, Christ. Uh, oh, uh, the geez. guy who wrote it, his initials is BS. Patrick Swayze. Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll give up. Yeah, I'll give up. I am not sure. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, what is it? It's Dracula. Love Never Dies. No Dracula. way! Oh. Dracula. Oh, oh Bram Stoker. Bram okay. Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, fine. Fuck. All right. This, is a fair, this should be a fairly easy one. Just You've got us. Well, I did get you this one as well. Just when you thought it was safe to go Jaws. back in the water. Yeah, Jaws, yeah. And you thought it's Jaws? No, you're wrong. It's Jaws 2. Um, <laughs> the clumps. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. No, it's, it's Jaws 2. Yeah, no, um, yeah. Because yeah, the two. first one is, um, I can't remember the first yeah. one is actually, but yeah, it's Jaws 2. It's not safe in. to go in the water. <laughs> yeah. Don't go in the water. Water. Um, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Uh, Ninja Tales. Matt is correct. It's Ninja Tales. Uh, <laughs> Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it was Ghostbusters 2016 edition. Yeah, yeah I was um, gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> If um, I liked this one, if Nancy doesn't wake up screaming, she won't wake up at all. Uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, Ashley. Oh, yeah, Ash knows his horror films. See, that's it. Like these little quotes are engraved in the back of our heads. When you realize it. Yeah, do you know what? I, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have overtly known many of these. 
but when you hear it your brain yeah. goes it starts flashing up because so, it's yeah. like sublimely there it's like it's on the DVD cover or the poster cover or it's quoted in the film most of these taglines are quoted in the film and then obviously mm-hmm. reused as a yeah. advertising scheme so it's kind of there so for example we scare because we care that Monster Zoo that is Monster Zoo oh Monster yeah, well, I love yeah. Monster Zoo do you know what I, yeah, I, I don't think I would have got that even though I, it's obvious but it just sticks out doesn't it I mean like this yeah. one's a famous one Number 10, we're on here. With great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Yeah, Spider-Man. Uh, we'll do a couple more then. Because, um, I mean, we did. We gave up on keeping score. Fuck it. Check in, <laughs> relax, <laughs> cool. take a shower. Huh? Check Wait. in, relax, take a shower. Now think about what I've just told you. Shinder's List. Oh! <laughs> 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 The boy in the striped pajamas. <laughs> you big <Rogers. laughs> <laughs> Woo! Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Matt, Matt, I'm sorry, but don't be. <laughs> oh, I'm all hot and lost enough to say that. I like that. <laughs> that, was so that was so quick. I didn't enjoy the show. It was awful, but. <laughs> Check in, relax, take a shower. I think of other films that aren't <laughs> that aren't people in World War Two. Oh, scream! Oh, no. no, that's a scream, is it? Psycho. Oh wait, Psycho. Yeah. Oh, what is this scream? Yeah. Scream is the one with the fucking long yeah. face. Yeah. Right. Oh, is that the tagline for Psycho? Yeah, check in, relax, take a shower. Which is, I still think that that's mental because obviously that they that was one of the first films to have like a a, a very like the lead mm. die very early, wasn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, shocking, yeah, wasn't it? it was, shocking at yeah. the time. Yeah, it's like the first film. You still don't get it a lot, to be fair. No, no. not even no, now. Yeah. Even like films with, with actual like sad endings and stuff like that are very rare. Like, I watched ha- that film Live Life the other day with Ryan Reynolds and <laughs> Jake Guz- Guzling, is it? Gosling. Jake Gosling. Je- Gosling. I mean, you're, confi- uh, you're, you're confusing Ryan Gosling and Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake, Jake, Gyllenhaal. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. That's the one. And that film's like, oh, without ruining it. That's a great film to watch. Uh, anyway, we've got a couple more. Be afraid. Be very afraid. That's a very famous quote that everyone's heard a billion times. But do you know what? Be afraid. afraid be very afraid. Is that, are you afraid of the dark? No. I want you to think of what is probably the original horror film. The original horror film? Like Frankenstein's Blob. Monster. Okay, yeah, probably that. But um, Blob. The Blob. The Blob's a terrible blob, film. Attack terrible of the Killer film. Tomatoes. Return of the Fly. <laughs> that was pretty much on it. It's The Fly. Oh, it's The Fly. I got the, I got the fucking very sequel. Afraid. Yeah. <laughs> so, Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid is famously taken from the original film, The Fly. You all know this quote. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, Ashes on it. Apollo 13. And I'll do one more for you. Um, same make, same model, new we- new mission. Not new weapon. Same, same make, same model. Robocop, Robocop 2. Robocop 2? <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Robocop Terminator. Terminator. Terminator 2? There you go. Ash is on it. Terminator 2, yeah. Judgment That was the thing. Uh, right, Terminator 2 is one of the best it. films of all time. That mm. was the tagline. That was the tagline for that That's film. That's fucking shit. What about what? this one? What about this one? Yeah. A part... <laughs> Inside, a party animal is about to break out. Uh, super bad. <laughs> What's know. that film with the toga? No, it's Nutty Professor. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, um, funny enough, I picked up two that were awful, <laughs> fucking awful, uh, that, that I thought were great. So the first one that I really liked was unwittingly he trained a dolphin to kill the president of the United States. What? That film is the day of the dolphin. Uh, <laughs> and there's another one here. When a girl has a heart of ice, there is only one way to melt it. Just add ice. And that is Ice Ice Baby starring Vanilla Rice. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> I was going to say Frozen. <laughs> and that's Frozen by Disney. There you go. Yeah, there's some taglines for you. Uh, Yogi, the Yogi Bear film had great things come in bears, apparently. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds grim. A bit grim. <laughs> <laughs> sounds a bit like a weird gay porno, doesn't it? Great thing comes in bears. <laughs> great things come in bears. <laughs> what? Volume three. Great things come in bears. It gets sticky. Uh, um, okay, cool. Well, there we go. I think it's time for shit news. Go shit on some news. Take a look what's in my picnic basket. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the latest dispatch just received in our news. Zim Podcast, bringing you the latest news from around the world with Victor Gosley, Crowboy, Frank and Gene, and news. Mr. Graves. This is Shit News. Yeah, sir, it's shit news. Oh, ladles and jelly spoons, ladles and jelly spoons. Here we are again. We are bringing you shit news. We have um, we have uh, got our spam daggers out and we have fought the lamestream media um, with our wibbly wobbly spam daggers. And um, we used our spam cams. We used our spam cans to um to 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 get a little bit of news from the pool, the greater pool of 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 news, and we've um we've shielded it from the rain, we've crossed the obsidian fields, and we're here delivering it to you on one knee. This is shit news. Okay, um, just make it sound so magical. So. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sandwich this with um. With, with some Katie, uh, Katie Price news. Uh, Katie oh, Price is... Don't usually. No, Katie Price is pregnant. That's that's the top one. Oh, what? Bastards! Again! <laughs> How old is she now? Uh, I, I'm going to... I'm going to oh, say... 74. Ruby Fanny! Oh. <laughs> Probably will be a bastard, yes. Um, ooh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, for, former Coronation Street tar, uh, star Deborah McAndrew is plagued by a disgusting smell for months. Uh, she she shits herself. <laughs> Have a wash. Um, Alex Ferguson's writing his Christmas started writing his Christmas cards. <laughs> what? Why? Why is that news? Um, Who rang him up? What were you up to? And in, Christmas cards. And in deck of. Oh, and in deck of. Wait, wait, page four. <laughs> and in deck of uh, pranked cat Dealey. Oh, Jokers. Man. <laughs> what was the thing they used to do? Was it SMTV Live? That's the one yeah, I wanted SMTV that once. Wonky yeah. Donkey. Wonky Donkey. Wonky, Wonky yeah. Donkey. Um, and uh, some other shit happened. What was it? Oh, um, Drew Barrymore has walked through New York barefoot. Uh, that is a, that is a mistake, for sure. Yeah, well, 100%. Yeah. And, uh, right. yeah. Um, and, then, uh, and then Katie Price, again, I'm going to circle back around to Katie Price. Our good, our good pal, Katie Price. Well, no, she's, uh, yeah. She's, she's eating the baby. She's eating the baby. No, um, <laughs> she's actually got. A, she's actually got a driving ban at the minute, and she's been. She uh, stupidly uploaded a picture of herself behind the wheel of a car before her driving ban was up. Uh, when she's, she's pregnant, she's is, she is <laughs> just such a cunt, isn't she? Uh, she's a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> look uh, at me, everyone, look at me. Look at me. Look, look, look at me. Look, every, look at everyone. Look at me. Yeah, in the fucking. Let me subjectify seat. my children. Yeah. Uh, she was banned for doing. Was it 83 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone? Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, so she's 30 miles an hour, uh, then, hour over the legal speed limit. But she was also banned previously for failing to respond oh. to two speeding tickets. Worm. Uh, and then, six years later, she was banned for getting 12 penalty points on license. So she's just a fucking terrible driver. And the funny thing is, she's caught, she's been, she's uploaded a snap of her in her pink fucking like SUV with pink furry seats and fucking pink steer like it's it's just a whole smorgasbord of fucking cunt um (laughs) (laughs) Joe what's your news story this week well I'm I've decided to uh, give everyone a bit of like um mind bleach oh um uh but so uh basically um zoos across across uh America Oh no! Sorry, uh, sorry. Czechoslovakia. That's not even America at all. Oh, uh, obviously, bleach as well, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't even read this story right. Um, so basically, um, zoos across Czechoslovakia, which is not a country, it's a Czech Republic, isn't it? Idiot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry for any <laughs> Czech people listening. Czech across the Czech Republic. Obviously, Czech zoos are, zoos are closed, and the chimps were getting a bit lonely. So what the zoos across the country have done is they've set up Zoom calls between gym- chimps in other zoos and they've been Zooming each other during while they're closed. Um, That's fucking awesome. And they've been fucking loving it. Um, basically, one of the Zoom keepers um, noticed that the chimps in his zoo, I'm not even going to try and say the name of this safari park. Please. Dever Kralivka. Nailed it. Nailed it. 
Uh, yeah, so basically he noticed the chimps were getting really restless. There's only a few chimps in their enclosure. So he he called up his mate in another zoo and said, look, you got any chimps? Fancy a little Zoom call? And they've been loving it. Um, also, um, meerkats and garden eels have also been Zooming each other. I don't know how the eels are doing it. <laughs> um, Using their own <laughs> electricity to power their Zoom. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, guys, quickly off subject. Just talking of eels, uh, when you get a moment, Google wolf ill. It's fucking rank. It's a it's an animal. Go oh. back to as you were saying. Yeah. Okay. So so basically, at first, uh, they um, they were f- b- they didn't quite know what was going on. They were approaching the screen with like you know like all like up and ready to fight the the weird uh, electronic chimp. <laughs> um, uh, but then they um, they kind of they kind of mellowed to it and they were like showing off snacks. Heck, that's wholesome. Yeah, so like, the, like one of the male chimps would like get his favorite like snack and be like, "Oh, look at this snack! I'm oh ASMR snack eating in front of you." <laughs> um, uh, and you know, uh, the females have been like setting up a little gossip chain. Um, what are they called? Bonnie, Babette, Susie, and Crispy. <laughs> Oh, the Gypsy. Sorry, not Crispy. They've got their own podcast called Gin and Sin. <laughs> gin and Sin. Gin, and sin. The gi- gin monkeys. Yeah. Gin um, sin. Yeah. sin and bananas. Yeah, and gin they've, and just, bananas. they've just been. They've just been like oh, the rest of us are getting bored of Zoom in. Uh, they've been fucking loving it. They've been yeah showing off snacks. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Long socks. Long socks. Are you there? That's me, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> before I go into this one, I'd like to point out. So I showed the guys just before we started this one. Um, my news article is based on this woman who's got quite a creepy picture, and for some reason, creepy. the page, despite the fact I've had it on the headline, keeps jumping to the image of her. So, <laughs> entire time I am watching you. I kept looking down because the image kept jumping down to those who can see that Whoa. face. Um, <laughs> But my story is about Pennsylvania mum makes deep fake nudes of daughter's high school cheerleading rivals and sends them to the coaches. No, that's such an American... That's like the oh. 21st century equivalent of the classic American fucking suburban shit cunt mother. Fucked up shit mother. What the fuck? Yep, when Rafaela Spone, I think it's Spone, how it's spelled, learned that her teenage daughter was fail- falling out of her cheerleader friends, she opted for revenge. And created a series of fake photos and videos to get high school girls kicked off their team. This woman found out that her daughter wasn't getting along with her fellow uh, friends in their cheerleading thing. They're all like the Mm. ages of, I believe, it doesn't say, but I believe from the ages of like 9 to 15 sort of of age group. Young. This woman found out about it. And to spark revenge, she got images of the kids who were like fellow girls in the cheerleading group obviously got their heads or something like that and put them on images of porn stars or people vaping or doing things that obviously at that age you'll get in trouble for, especially like nude images. So did you just go from porn stars to vaping? To vaping. Well, yeah, it, mentions, it mentioned like... Kids nude. these days and their anal sex and vaping. <laughs> it's one disgusting thing okay. to the other. They're one minute they're holes. fucking, the next minute they're breathing in steam. Guys, any parents listening, vaping is a gateway to anal sex. Okay, vaping is <laughs> anal Don't. It's not marijuana, it's vaping. Um... But basically, yes, yeah, she, she was putting loads of fake images and videos. That is kids, mental. Uh, that is really quite literally mental. Fucked up, really, when you think about it, that like someone's mum is making images of someone's He's almost kids. Making, on, like, that's uh, illegal, right? That's got to be illegal. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's 100% illegal. On, on porn. I hope she got um, justice she's served. She's making paedophilic content. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's, yeah. Did she? I hope she got like justice served. Well, it's still serving at the moment. It's still going through court. Um, because... Uh, the, Woman's completely denied all, all, cut, all counts. So basically, the only reason it's come back to her is what she did is she, um, you can buy mobile numbers for like a, if you work for like a, like a telecom services and you want to use a mobile number to send out a text to everyone. You know, there's annoying shit you get like, yeah, oh, you yeah. could be entitled to PPI, sort of thing like that. So she used a company like that. But obviously, if you use a company like that and you pay for the number, you pay with your credit or debit card and your credit or debit card is going to link back to you. So she's used this number to send the text to not only the coaches and teachers of the school, but also to the parents and the kids who she's put the deep fake images of, which is very weird. Like, I don't know why you'd send it to the kids that you're doing it to, to mug over, maybe just to scare them. But then they've Pretty got all the evidence fucked up, they they, for way. But she Shit, sent it to the kids. So the parents and them started looking into it. The police looked into it, found out that the woman had used a number from this company. It links back to her because she used her credit card to pay for it. Fucking idiot. Um, but it's currently going through court. But yeah, this Dogecoin. Woman, she, 
literally been using <laughs> images of the fellow kids and then putting them on naked bodies or pictures of them vaping or graffiti Fuck and, that. and naughty debauchery things. Um, I'm going to have to cut you off there because that's making me more sick than the brown semen thing. Um, <laughs> oh. Funky Gibbon, <laughs> Gibbon, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thank you very much. Oh. Um, I'm a little bit faster this time. So yeah, you, the it's connection's got a lot better. Connection. Yeah, it's got a little bit better. It must, be those, so, uh, must be those 5G antennas they've been putting near you. Yeah, 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 but I have been having constant that. headaches and brown semen. Yeah, just we don't talk about that. We keep it covered. Anyway, fans of young female motorcycle rider baffled as she turns out to be 50-year-old man. So, <laughs> 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 that deep fake woman was back again. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese rider. Uh, oh, of course they're Asian. That wasn't a stereotype. Uh, Gakuyuki. They age very well. A huge social media following with most people assuming she was a young woman. And now the man under the helmet admits it was a con. So I've got a picture here. I'm Is it just a man with a, with a juicy bum? I'll, I'll tell you that. Right. So this, I don't know if you can be able to, let me turn the brightness down the tab so you can see this. What are they called? Um, I, I'll butcher the name again. Right. So this. Uh, oh I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm a 50 year old man. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll show you in a minute. Hold up. Oh, so, um, yeah, so yeah, it says it's all a con. It says um, fans of a young female most are stunned after discovering she's really a fifty-year-old man. Um, it says uh, gave a huge following social media for posting photos of herself posing with her bike or out on the open road, writing mainly about her love of playing around with bikes. The user also posted some more risque snaps of herself lying in oh. bed with seemingly little or no clothing. Oh. With long red hair, eye makeup, and feminine features, most people took a look, uh, sort of took the user for a young woman. <laughs> now, a Japanese variety show has revealed the truth. A TV crew tracked the rider down and filmed the moment they removed their helmets, showing themselves to be a middle aged man with a luscious head of hair. So, let me see if I can get a picture here. This is what they really look like. Oh my god! No, it just looks like a, it looks like one of us put a red wig on. <laughs> so, but was also Japanese. Yeah. yeah. So um, going through, it says he admitted to catfishing his fans, revealing he's so using tools like FaceApp and Photoshop uh, to alter his face and give him a feminine appearance. But that means because he was nobody, lying in sexy clothes on the on the bed. Nobody wanted to see an uncle, as he put it. And then it says it goes into he explain how FaceApp works. And yeah, but that means he he, po- he, he say the- he was in sexy lingerie on the bed. Yeah, there's something about it. it said he added that the beautifying process was enjoyable, as was the skyrocketing number of likes on his Instagram post. But look, I mean, look, there's another picture with him with the Photoshop and everything. Yeah, like she looks. That's pretty great. convincing. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty convincing. It's pretty convincing. Yeah, and. Um, really, isn't it? Yeah, that reminds he, me of, he realized um, that he attracted far more attention and followers as a woman, obtaining more than seventeen fans on Twitter alone. Seventeen thousand. Seventeen fans. <laughs> so seventeen thousand fans. Seventeen thousand. But yeah, weird. Like, it's there's there's a little bit more to the article, but uh, it's, it's, <laughs> someone said this is why you can't trust social media for anything. Um, oh yeah, the one that said there was actually a picture that kind of gave it away. Said one picture unloaded, uploaded on February 11th may have given the game away with the man's face clearly visible in the mirror of the bike. And there was also another one where he posted a picture like this and his bare arm was showing and his arm, the arm looked really old compared and to... you got an old arm. Yeah, yeah your arm looks old. I'm going to have to stop you there. I'm going to have to stop you there, um, oh, yeah. Funky Gibbon. Yep, we're, getting no a, we're getting a hot scoop from yeah, Teabag. Teabag, are you there? Hello, yes, this is Teabag, uh, all the way from Dartford. Um... <laughs> There's been a big there's research has come about that um you Doom can be played, the video game Doom can be played on sixteen million crabs based on research. What is, what, study. What is, what is the obsession with playing Doom? Like I've seen Doom on like a Casio calculator. I've seen Doom played on yeah. whatever. Was what it a uh, six hundred so, crabs? So Six over million. the years, uh, yeah, the, the 1993 version of Doom has proven to run on many different pieces of hardware, including smart fridges, pregnancy tests, ATM machines, tests. Gra- graphic calculators, Apple Watches, a MacBook Touch Bar, a Sony K800i, Fuck's sake, a, a camera, and even inside Doom itself. <laughs> I love that one. Doom of In- Doom. Doomception. Yeah, um, for some reason, <laughs> scientists have theorized that 16 billion soldier crabs could oh. run the original 1993 version 
of the first shoe to do. Uh, are they acting out like a play? Who's doing the music? I'm doing it, guys. So scientists have built successfully built logic gates by using swarms of soldier crabs. Now I tried to research what a logic gate was, and I was gate in logic. At the moment I started reading about what a logic gate was. So if you're a computer whiz, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, it's an input and out and an output. So it takes 80 crabs to operate a logic gate. So somebody somebody created this logic gate, had shitloads of crabs, and it created memory, basically like computer memory. Um, oh, a, a logic gate is just like an and or. Did yeah. It, did it in, phys- in electronics. So in building there are eight, function. There are, yeah, but there, you need eight logic gate, there are eight logic gates in a byte. So 640,000 crabs can be used to store a single tweet. Wait, hold on a minute. How the how the I'm so confused how the crabs are acting as logic What's, gates. What does a crab represent? Because it's it's like it, we're talking about bi- we're talking about basically binary input output here. Yeah. yeah. So um, they were saying sixteen billion crabs. Sixteen billion crabs could run. Do. I mean, that's a lot of crabs. That's a lot of crabs. That's a lot of crabs to have in one space. Still less than Jeff from uh, old Amazon though. Yeah, Still he's got more crabs than that. He's got 160 billion crabs. He's got 160 billion crabs. So, so they, <laughs> that's they, the currency. They, it's 2021. This is the currency we use is, they de- is they crabs. Demo- in, they did an experiment where they demonstrate crabs, crabs can implement logical gates when placed under a strained environment. I don't really understand the science of it. So we've got, to, we've got to strain hey. 16 billion crabs and we get to play, to play Doom. a sweet game of Doom. <laughs> um, just, yeah. Is it the theory One that day. if you've got 16 billion crabs, you have enough to make it the right probable answer to get through the game? Is that what it is? Because if it's either or, then you're, in, in theory, you need to have enough of something to make it... I'll be honest, or. mate. Every fucking news thing that I tried to look at this was... No, no, basically, basically a logic gate is is you, you've got two inputs and you're coming out of one output. You so you say, left and, or right and, and you say, and, and it makes A, it, you, a and B yeah. and you make oh, C. Oh, yeah, I, I got that. So like, you know, you know, five and five equals 10, you know. Kind four, of, kind of. Four. You've got, you usually, usually you just have ands or ors. Yeah. And then yeah. you've got normally you nans or nors. You turn right, you go forward or. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it'd be a lot, more, it'd be a lot of those inputs to make the, the input of the game. What I'd be interested to know is what kind of display port adapter you'd need to be able to play it on a screen. <laughs> I would also like to know what 16 billion crabs look like. Um, deep, well, like spider crabs in the deep ocean, I think is a... Fucking like, terrifying, yeah, I imagine, yeah. Mating season. Yeah. Like, um, right, I have been uh, Hot Lips, you've been joined... I've been your uh, anchor, you've been joined by... <laughs> Teabag, Funky Gibbon, <laughs> and Old Long Socks. <laughs> and this has been your, your, your weekly slice of news. Uh, and we're going to round things off. We're going to top you off. We're going to jimmy your wickets with um, Blankomatic. Oh, yummy. Ooh. Jealous. <laughs> All right, you weenies. It's that time for Blankomatic, the moment of the podcast where we find a generator online and we put in um, nouns, verbs, whatever to create something. Bollocks. Um, guys, no. um, I'm taking a new step in my career. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought I, I've, I've been in where I am for about nine years now. Um, um, but I just feel it's time to move on. And oh. I've got a job interview. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, I've got a job interview. Oh yeah. Um, so I thought I, I need to, you know, I need to run through some questions of what well, would happen a while, in a job yeah. job interview. Um, so I thought we'd put the job interview into the blankomatic. <laughs> oh, oh dear. well, that makes sense, doesn't it? So, uh, that's obviously how it's going to turn out in reality. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I thought, Joe, um, when we do this, if you could read out the role as the boss 
And oh I'm, yeah, I've done I've done quite a lot of interviews actually. Yeah, oh yeah, and, I suppose and, of all people. And, 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 I, and I remember when my dad gave you a little lesson as well, didn't he? He did back in the day. He um he, he interviewed he? He, yeah when I was first going for my man, for for a management role, he interviewed me and asked me really oh, abstract brilliant. questions like how many piano tuners are in the UK, and then before I got to answer, he was like, "So what's your greatest weakness?" Um, I was just no, trying to throw no, you off with. Yeah, he was deliberately trying to throw me off, and he, he was like, "What's sixty nine times sixty nine? So tell me about more about uh, this no, this well, year well, off you had. Okay, this is this is genuinely one of the best questions my dad asks in a job interview. He said, "And uh, and you got to answer it right. What's okay. half of ninety nine? Oh, <laughs> oh, is that? Are you asking us what half of ninety nine uh, is? Yeah, what's half of ninety nine? Uh, it's forty forty eight. No, I don't know. Forty eight. No, it's it's forty eight point five. No." Nope. 47.5? No. Nope. What's half I don't of 99? 49.5, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, uh, but the thing is... Yeah, but it, do, it doesn't let you finish no, thinking okay. about it. He'll in ask a, you something else. Yeah, in a job interview, he'll ask that. He'll take the first answer. They'll go, uh, 45.5? And then he'll go to the next question. And during his next question, they're thinking, shit, was that right? Yeah, I was going to say 45.5 is 91. And, and then he completely throes them <laughs> yeah. off in a job interview. Anyway, we need a position down, sideways, up. Doggy. Uh, um, always up. Diagonal. Got to be going up, haven't we? Doggy. Uh, Doggy. Diagon Alley. <laughs> Diagon Alley. I, I, I'll say diagonal. <laughs> oh. That's a okay. mixture of what we said. I, I think we need to keep that one simple. <laughs> okay. um, occupation. Uh, disco uh, Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Have <laughs> we had that before? Yeah. No, I mean, what, about, what, what about what about jam whisker? <laughs> I mean, there's another thing for occupation, so I'm going to put a jam whisker. Oh, oh, what was wrong with disco goblin? No, there we've got two. disco goblin. It's oh, okay. He said All there was right. another occupation. Okay. Do you listen to this? More than one job. Joe. Any, any place, the zoo, church, Walmart, etc. Uh, uh, around the back of millets. Round the back of millets. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is millets? <laughs> Well, it's the old like camping store. Oh Remember shit! Back yeah, in, like, uh, early two thousands. <laughs> there used to be one on the Nugent's Park, right? Um, around the Maybe. back of Millets. No, no, that's, no, that's was. Cotswolds. That's Cotswolds. Oh, still. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Uh, <laughs> Toys R Us Thunderdome. <laughs> Fun- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Fanny Flaps. Um, Astoria. Stop looking at the fucking Vistoria thing. <laughs> <laughs> My go-to. Um, um, block, blockbuster video. Blockbuster, yeah. Sync up blockbuster. Sync up blockbuster, yeah. Which is now are turning into a cinema, finally. After oh, they've finally years. fucking done something with it. Yeah, yeah, that's a com- that feels like a conversation for offline. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> need, okay. like, it's oh, still cool. a fucking blockbuster from the, like the late two thousand, the early two thousands. We, need, a, just been we need an answer. Like, sure, perhaps, never, absolutely. I can do that. Um, quite. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Just quite. <laughs> right, I like quite. Spiff, quite. Spiff, spiff spaff. I can do that. Spiff spaff. Oh. I was taking a bath. Mm. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, Spiff, yeah. Spiff spaff. I can do that. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I say. I work all the time. We need a noun. Oh, uh, um, a confusion um, pen. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> drama llama. C- confusion ray gun. Sexually aroused stapler. <laughs> Sexually aroused lava lamp. Stapler uh, slash butt plug. Staple uh, diet. The, the not knowledge doorknob. The I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to think of the weird things in my <laughs> office, but my office is really plain. I've got a Christmas room. Um, oh, sorry, no, 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 no. You've got a Christmas. It's a, room there's a permanent. Office. There's a permanent M and S Christmas room. That That's not I, plain. Who has a permanent <laughs> Christmas room in their office? A company that makes a third of its money at Christmas. I don't well, know. Yeah, evidently, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, that uh, office is pretty plain. We've got a Christmas room, and we've got the other room right, with the bouncy castle. I'm going to put dead Christmas tree. Oh, oh yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, w- Ash, we need a year. Um, 1985. Great year. None of us were born, but great year. For Subaru, um, we need. Yeah. A co- we need a company. Um, Dave, um, Dave, gone. Um, <laughs> don't say Astoria for the fucking love of God. <laughs> <laughs> we can, Astoria we can, with the bros. <laughs> we can make up our own company. Um, 
Yeah, Dave, what, what have you got? What uh, have you got? J- Johnson's Meat Skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> A company name. Um, I, you know what? I'm going blank. Um, uh, it's, it's called the Blankomatic. Um, uh, evil, e- evil, fragile uh, um, mouse skulls. Kim Kim Jong's eels. Stop! What was up with you, Kim Jong? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's bored of Hitler, so he's got to find something new to grab onto. Yeah. Um, oh, it's it's the ill enterprise, Kim Jong eels. Danger uh, sperm. Um, what what was um, <laughs> Danger sperm no, limited? My, who was who was the um woman who used to do Fort Bayard? The blonde woman. Oh, um, what? Fuck. Oh, um, Fort what? Cat something? No, not Cat Dealey. Um, what are you on about? Danny we- Brown. Danny Danny Bear. Sorry, bear? am I having a stroke? I mean, did it, do, did I exist in a different world to all of you? Fort or Boyard. Not? Well, you don't yeah. know Fort Boyard. Fort, like, Fort, like, Fort like, like, Boyard. Fort Boyard, which was like Crystal Maze, but it was in that island that used to be a prison, and they turned it into. No, I mean I know Crystal Maze. Why not Melinda the ball? You not heard of Fort Boyard? I mean I know who Melinda Messenger is. Yeah, yeah, Melinda Messenger. Yeah. Messenger. And they had the old guy. Messenger. and he'd be like, right, so I am Melinda's, <laughs> 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 Melinda's Messengers. Melinda's Messengers. Fort Boyard. Melinda Messengers. Why are we doing this? Massage machine. <laughs> Melinda Messenger's massage machine. Massage yeah, deals. Massage. <laughs> Melons. Why did we go through that? Why did we need to go through that whole thing to get Melinda Messenger? What about what about Just to realise that you don't know what that fucking is. Fort Boyardee or whatever Melon. It, is. Yeah. it was Melon a great show. <laughs> They're I've, tigers. I've got, all right, we need a number. Ash. Uh, 19. Uh, we need an adjective. Oh, um... Uh, Spacious, clumsy, tiny, um, teeny tiny, sided, lopsided, mammoth. Sided. Oh, I, I like mammoth for later. <laughs> <laughs> we need a verb with ing. Uh, s- uh, slipping, touching, blooming, fingering. Mm. Uh, excluding rubbing no I'm going to go with fingering I'm going to keep it simple dumping <laughs> dumping isn't this for a, uh, what's to this be for fair again? there is another there is another one with I and G so I'm going to write dumping for that <laughs> we, need, we need a verb just normal verb straight up wipe 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 I don't wipe yeah. uh, we need a verb with ER wiper <laughs> stomper um um, um. Uh, what is it? Sorry. Yeah, uh, with about, ER. Yeah. Slurp. Well, racer. Slurp. Did you just say slurp with ER? Yeah. Slurper. Slurper. Okay. Slurper. 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 Uh, Slurper. Grinder. Ash, Ash, we need mm-hmm. time frame. Minutes, years, seconds, days. Um, go. Uh, yeah, minutes. Uh, we need another verb with ing. Mm, oh. Cranking. Yeah. Ooh, cranking. Adjective. Uh, thundering. That's a verb, yeah. isn't it? No. Muddy. Oh, I like muddy. Just simple. Uh, a verb. God, there's a lot of verbs in this. Uh, oh. Hang. Shunt. Uh, hang. Impressive. Canel. Yes. Yeah. Hang. Go on. <laughs> Let's go for hang. Single clothing item. Um, Bulletproof poodle coat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was saying with a turtleneck, but that was pretty good. So. <laughs> Bulletproof poodle coat. <laughs> I, I own five of those. So uh... I was thinking of, um, do you remember that episode of The Simpsons where he no. did the see my vest? See my, my vest? <laughs> Best. It's the most the turtle. How quickly you came out with that. Like, <laughs> I, need, I need a clothing item. Two, bulletproof caboodle coat. Um, <laughs> caboodle? Caboodle <laughs> coat. Plural, plural clothing. Oh, I haven't got another one. That was my only one. <laughs> plural clothing. Um, <laughs> Skeletal knee pads. Um, Pocket protectors. Um, uh, uh, Tiny little testicles. Calling col- collots. Bone tie. Rough elbow patches. I quite, you know, I quite like bone tie. Bone tie. Oh no, is that, no, no, it's, it's not a plural, is it? A couple of bone ties. Um, <laughs> um, uh, really nice shoes that your mum got you that were a bit off-brand, but um, you, you smile and nod anyway. Can you write that all down? 
Uh, bone shoes. Bone shoes. I was literally just going to just say bone shoes. <laughs> what about Big Daddy? Big Big Daddy Bone Shoes. Daddy bone big Daddy Bone Shoes. You got to go. Big Daddy Bone Shoes. Big Daddy Bone Shoes. <laughs> okay. Daddy bone shoes. Hey. <laughs> we got. We need another verb. Uh, um, jiggle. Oh, jiggle. I like jiggle. Uh, jiggle. We need two adjectives. Oh, oh, sorry, th- sorry, three adjectives. Oh, I hate adjectives. Um, uh, generous. Odd. Odd. Creamy. Creamy. Odd. Hungry. Creamy and hungry. Oh, I see the seven- Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's got a bit <laughs> off brand. Angry, sleepy. <laughs> Odd, My favourite dwarf is hungry. <laughs> Odd, creamy and hungry. <laughs> the country. <laughs> <laughs> right, we need a verb with ing. Christ. Uh, um, uh, Promising. For, and prom, well, Sizzle, that, scissoring. Uh, scissoring. Ob- objectifying. Felching. Or oh, felching. Sucking oh. up the cum from someone's bum. Or <laughs> oh. swallowing. That's what they call <laughs> felching. Verb with ER. Um, um, expander. Swallow. Is uh, that a verb? T- Expand is. Expanding. Yeah, expanding be a verb. No, it's got an yeah, verb ER. With, verb with ER. Oh, ER, sorry. Um, S- stomper. Cruncher. Uh, no. um, lower? No, lower, yeah, lower. No, that's not a verb, is it? You don't lower. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you do. <laughs> Bummer. Right. Have you ever lowered anything? You don't. Oh. <laughs> um... Oh, verb. I love a verb. Climb. It's the now climb. Lower than we climb. Roll. <laughs> Bounce. Uh, milk. Oh yeah, milk. Ooh, milk. Single part of body. I mean, I think this is gonna tit. <laughs> nipple. One fucking tit. One dry nipple. A uh, single body part. Uh, the cleft. Granddad's left bollock. Milky dip. Uh, sensual cleft. Dead dogs drying nostrils. Aunt, Aunt Sue's. Why Sue? Aunt Sue's? It's a body part. <laughs> What's Aunt Sue got to do with it? Aunt Sue's. <laughs> Droopy poo. Um, um, uh, cancerous uh, back dimple. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Aunt Sue's. Oh, uh, Aunt Sue's Clef-lip. flaky heel. Oh. Why is Aunt Sue getting involved? <laughs> Who's Aunt Sue? Why f- would she be there? <laughs> flaky heel, then. Oh, Aunt flaky Sue? heel. That is so grim. Have you? Who is it who sent me the video? Someone great in the back of their. That was you, man. Uh, uh, right in the back of their foot on the. Hey, oh, I, literally, I, I pressed play, and within, I think it's the quickest I've ever paused a video in my life. I just went. And I was like, uh, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing that mental image with the rest of us. With ing, uh, grating, staring? pissing, grating your foot. Oh, I crack cracking. Up. Uh, Preposition, backwards, forwards, upside down, around. Preposition. Um, um, uh, upside down. Upside down. Yeah, flip, yeah. Like flip oh, side up, yeah. <laughs> Abs- Oops. We, okay, we need an abstract noun. Misery, passion, fear, knowledge, sympathy. An abstract noun. Ooh. Uh, brilliance. Jud- judgment? Judgment. Titus. Uh, deceit. <laughs> deceit. Uh, uh, beauty. Oh, yeah, obnoxiousness. Yeah, uh, I, I like if, beauty. Okay. Greet. Well, we need a greeting. So I'm going to start this, and then we're going to go around, and it's going to be our greeting. Um. Uh. Strong start. Wait, right, no, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going after you? Good. Good day, muffin cheeks. I mean, you've made a very long one off the bat. <laughs> yeah. I thought, are we not doing one good word? Day, oh, right, we want one word. Well, good okay. day, muffin um, cheeks is good. <laughs> I, I like that. To be honest with you. Good day, um, muffin cheeks. What's up, weenie? What's the state? What's the statement of the week? <laughs> now I've gone for what's up, weenie. Um, where do we go from there? We Welcome to the where do we go pop- now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say I, your name I, and I, I say my name? I'm Mr. I, Graves. Yeah, I thought actually, what was the other one with the muffin cheeks? Whatever it was, that I was like easier. Good day, muffin cheeks. Yeah, good day, muffin <laughs> like cheeks. That. What's the statement of the week or something? I don't know. What's the statement of the weeks? Good day, muffin cheeks. I'll, I'll give it that. Right. What about oh. good day, muffin cheeks? The weather's a bit bleak. 
Yeah. Have you, <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to That's Mozambique? Have you been to Mozambique? That's when we catch a bee. <laughs> Mozambique. Ash, Ash really the year. Oh, God. Um, 1999. Uh, 1985. Joe, we need an animal. Rapid deaf duck. <laughs> <laughs> and certain ponds in the UK known for murder. You've got to be careful in the summer, they're, they're rapid. <laughs> Due to the mallard rapid deaf duck. Many so people have been seeding the duck. Yeah, we need an answer. Fucking, like, du- sorry, I just imagine ducks coming out of like rapid waters. <laughs> <laughs> get you. <laughs> These ducks brilliant. are the only ducks to known to take down bears. <laughs> the UK um, has been famous for their rapid deaf ducks. How many uh, people have died this year? Aunt, we need an answer like, sure, perhaps, never, or absolutely. Quite. Get fucked, you slag. <laughs> I want quite. Get fucked, you slag. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the simplicity, like the simplicity of that. Okay. Get fucked, you slag. We need an adjective. Oh, really? Um, loopy. Oh, loopy. Sloppy. Right. Oh, sloppy. Joe, jo, we need an animal, plural. Oh, God, I'm, I'm all out. Um, uh, a drab, right. drab dragon. <laughs> Drag dragons, furious fire ants. Uh, uh, pure, uh, um, a teeny tiny um, dragons in drag. <laughs> dragons in drag. <laughs> I have all the drag reference now. Drab drag dra- drag drab drag dragons. Drab drag dragons. Drag, no, dra- dragons. no drab dragons, dragons in drag. drab dragons in drag. Drab dragons in drag. Yeah. Oh, oh that's no. a mouthful. Drab dragons in drag. We're here. We need a noun. No wait, drab dragons in drag now looking fab. <laughs> I like how you said fab. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try saying that and yeah. stay in um, PC. And, and yeah, don't, don't, don't say the wrong word. <laughs> uh, Noel Edmonds strap on dildo. Uh, we we did, need a noun. Did you guys hear about... Um, Bobby butt plugs. Did you hear about Noel, Noel Edmonds house party after it's bulldozed? No. It became Noel, Noel's flat party. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Was it a noun? I yeah, don't know. Uh, the coldest um, little ice cube in the tray. Cat dog. <laughs> a cat dog. Fat cat dog, dog Mendoza. Fat dog Mendoza. <laughs> uh, cat dog. Uh, uh, gossip queen no. at the uh, uh, I mean, Emmys. So Billy far, Billy. so far, I've written Noel Edmonds mutant. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep it at that. Keep it at that. Just leave that. No, 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 Noel Edmonds has a deep dark secret he doesn't want you to know. It's deep down in his basement. No, Edmonds pet mutant. No, I just like Noel Edmonds mutant. It's like it's like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. No, Edmonds mutant. No, Edmonds mutant is fucking classic. That was like Mr. Blobby before he came on TV. That's a great metal band name. Because no, no, everyone would be like, he's mutant what? And you'd be like, no, it's just his mutant. <laughs> no, it's mutant. It's what he rang up when he was speaking to the, the, the uh, banker. He was there going, hello? And the no one mutant was going, they're going, <laughs> um, what was it? Adjective. Adjective. Shimmery. Ashamed. Shimmery. Ashamed. Ashamed. <laughs> Scruntled. Family member, um, uncle. <laughs> Your uncle, yeah. Jeff. Uncle Jeff. Uncle Jeff. Aunt Sue. <laughs> Aunt Sue with a bassoon. <laughs> Aunt Bassoon. <laughs> Aunt Bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> Bat all over the fucking tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing terrible impressions of bassoon. Sorry to anyone that plays the bassoon. <laughs> you do play the bassoon. Uh, verb with ED. Sniffed. Oh yeah. Oh, sniffed. yeah, snuffled, sniffed. snuffled. Or snuffed. Yeah, we need an exclamation, e.g., "Wow, yikes, cool, sweet." Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, what was the, what was the old um like um shunt cunts? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what they said on Scooby Doo. Uh, <laughs> we need a, we need an <laughs> out. <laughs> Sorry, you're thinking of Zoics. Zoics, Zinkies, Jinkies, Jinkies, and Zoics. And zoinks. And shunt cunts. Yeah. And shunt cunts. cunts. Jinky zoinks and shunt cunts was the uh, common we need, phrase. We need a noun. Oh, um... Uh, someone else go. Um... Space... Frank delay Lampard's lamp. Delay badges. Space, space delay badges. Lamp, space ladle. Frank Lampard's lamps and... <laughs> Frank Lampard's lamp. <laughs> I <laughs> I <actually> emporium. 
Ariana Grande's gala. <laughs> Frank Lampard's one lamp. Frank Lampard's lamp. <laughs> hey, Frank. I'm Frank Lampard, and this is my lamp Frank. emporium. Frank. I've only got one at the moment. Why I'm is Frank anymore. Lampard Northern? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Frank Lampard's lamp emporium. <laughs> Fuck I've got some oh. lamps. Oh. I've got one at the moment, but I'm buying more. Or well, Frank Lampard's yard of lamps. <laughs> Frank Lampard's S- lamp yard. Lamp. Lamp. No, Frank Lampard's lamp yard. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> lamp yard. That yeah. was yeah, genius. Sense. We got there in the end. Yeah, Frank top. Lampard's lamp yard. <laughs> yeah, Frank Lampard's What you just witnessed? Lamp what you just lamp witnessed yard. was a joke. Was a joke being workshops there. <laughs> See, when, you, when you watch comedians, this is what happens beforehand. This We're is comedy like, at the highest make- tier. We're operating <laughs> at the highest tier of comedy right now. You are we- fucking lucky, you. Lucky. Yeah, you can-, <laughs> can you believe they're getting this for free? We should start charging. <laughs> we should, should we? Single yeah. part of body. Um, single. I can't go over Frank Your, Lampard um, to Lampyard. <laughs> um, Captain Hook's eye. <laughs> Chocolate Can toast. you imagine when he wiped his bum if he used the wrong hand? <gasps> what, will he get it on the lamp? <laughs> Captain, <laughs> Captain Hook. Not, Frank Lampard. Not <laughs> Frank Lampard. No, Frank Lampard. Lampard. That's so far no. Frank Lampard's got two regular hands. <laughs> Wait, no. Single part football. body. Single part body is Captain Hook. Captain Hook's regular hand. <laughs> Captain Hook's regular hand. <laughs> I feel an episode name in that. <laughs> That's the, Captain, Captain Hook's, Hook's regular hand. Standard old normal hand. Non hook hand. <laughs> Captain Hook's non yeah, non hook. <laughs> we've had Jeremy we've Jeremy Beagle's small hand, now it's Captain Hook's <laughs> normal hand. <laughs> um, uh, wow, Jeremy Beagle. Oh, um Create. Uh, uh, yeah, cream. Jeremy um, Beagle's bum. Well right. we need verb with vine cheese, so I do creaming. <laughs> oh. oh. We, need, we need a noun. Uh, um, a crime boat. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. There's a boat that crime happened on. <laughs> There's been some crime on this boat. Yeah, there has, isn't there? Uh, yeah. well, uh, Ash, we need two numbers. <laughs> um, <laughs> two what numbers? Tw- uh, Thirty-nine and seventy-one. Ooh. That, uh, almost. When, if you when, get those two numbers together, it's over a hundred. Nearly. Nearly. <laughs> no, it is over 100, he's right. Yeah, it's 110. Yeah, you threw me off there. Yeah, I was like, it is over 100. <laughs> uh, adjective- Welcome to Sin and Gym, where we're bad at maths constantly. <laughs> We've been drinking. <laughs> we need an adjective. Timeless. Oh, timeless. Timeless, uh, yeah. We need a noun, plural. Oh, How many nouns and verbs on this one? Um, uh, uh, um, apprehension, tension, sweatbands. <laughs> Vanilla teachers. Um, pieces of foil. Uh, a cu- <laughs> a- <laughs> pieces of foil. <laughs> a couple of deaf sandwiches. As in, like, deaf as in they can't hear, or deaf as in. Foil deaf sandwiches. De- Pardon? Deaf sandwiches, brackets, they can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. What's in your sandwich? Um, again, again, you're getting this for free, guys. For yeah. free. <laughs> Lucky little fuckers, aren't you? I'm, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Wait, I thought it was death sandwiches, not death sandwiches. Death. Well, that's the joke. You now you're now you explaining the joke. <laughs> don't put no, your, no, don't put your tongue between your teeth. It threw me off. Right. Me off. Plural body part. Mm. Um, How many fucking questions are there um, on this one? Like, this is a job interview. <laughs> no, what's I your... feel like I'm in a fucking job interview. Uh, um, what is it? Plural body part. Yeah. Oh, t- t- tickly uh, toes. Mandela melons. <laughs> Mandela melons. <laughs> Are you mixing politicians with body parts? Yeah. He's what not had a colour. To be fair to him, he's not had a colour. He's not had a colour. We need another single body. Oh, that was. Yeah, we need two single body parts. Oh, fucking hell! All right, Mandela melons and um. Mandela melon, surely. Mandela um, melon. Candy gonads. And- <laughs> I'll be Gandhi Gonad. Oh, Gandhi yeah. Gonad. Gandhi <laughs> Gonad. I did mention Gandhi a lot, so yeah, just chuck him in there. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Stalin Shrinkter. 
Schwinkter. 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 Stalin Schwinkter. A Russian and a, and a German. Right, somewhere. we're nearly there. Well, two more things to put in. Verb with ing. Cr- uh, oh. Gut. Did you say gushing? Oh. I said pushing. Oh, gushing yeah. is good. But I like gushing. And we, last one, we need a greeting, such as welcome, bonjour, adios, greetings. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's not <laughs> greeting. It is an Hello, Papu. Um, um, can you play the kazoo? Because I can do what you do if you don't know what to do and you do a le poo. Uh, yeah. That one. That one. Can you play the kazoo? Because I do what I do and if you don't know what <laughs> I do. Greetings and masturbations. <laughs> uh, ladies and jelly spoons. If, if you can't, I mean, can't, then you can, can, because the can't, because the can, because you know you can. What's up, my Nigels? <laughs> What's up, my Nigels? What's up, my Nigels? <laughs> okay, right now I'm gonna. Click Do I have to play. censor this part of the podcast? I don't know. No. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna click play. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna yeah. send it to Joe. Okay. And then. Oh yeah, because he's the boss. And then we're gonna. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Should I put me? on my my best managerial voice? Yes. That's awesome. I you wanna know. hear I wanna hear the source of Joey's locomotive right now. There was a point where I used to carry uh, a Duke manager phone on me when I worked in stores. And I still wake up in the night and go, Hi Joe Marshall, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> I can't remember it now, I'm drunk. Okay, Joe, that's it. Hey to Joe you. Marshall, how's it going? What are you doing uh, right now? What are you wearing? Oh <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is your Mark Spencer's Blue Water. This is Joe Marshall speaking. How can I help? No, is that sent to you? It's not. No, I'm. Uh, the, the, make. F- oh, here we go. Yeah, sorry. I was going to say make conversation, but so okay. me and Ash need to be those guys that just sit in the back. Is this the, the, is this the whole thing, thing Matt? Yeah, this is it. That all of that, and it just came out with this one page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it out. Don't don't fuck us over. Don't don't ruin the secret. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin the secret of magical. Like, okay, right. So it's, so it's got such a long scroll bar on it. You, Thirty-five you... episodes. No one knew the magic, and you just shat on it. <laughs> yeah, like that. that was it. Okay, right. Okay, <laughs> okay. No, no, no. So okay. Does it does it finish with Nigel's at the end? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, guys, obviously, I've got this job interview. I'm very nervous about it, so I need to run for a, a, mock, a mock interview to make sure this is to make sure this works. So, me and Ash will assess you and how we feel that you did. Everyone, the... everyone, yeah. everyone, take everyone, take a drink as everyone you do in in every job interview. Cheers, boys. Okay. Okay, right. Uh, you're, you're the boss. Let me adjust myself. Um, are you going to do it properly? Like, you're going to knock on the door and shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. All right, all right, you all right. Can't, you're sitting down already? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Joe, is it fine? Oh, oh. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Sorry, did I say you could come in yet? <laughs> oh, okay. Our appointment was at 12.15. I think you'll find it's 12.13. Could you please wait outside? <laughs> Karen will catch you. We'll, we'll fetch you a glass of water while you All wait. Right, get to the fucking point, right? <laughs> uh, Mister 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 Rogers, is it? Please take a seat. Thank you. Uh, please sit diagonal. I understand you're here for the disco goblin position here at Sick Up Blockbusters <laughs> Videos, correct? <laughs> spiff, spiff, spaff. I can do that, sir. Thank you. Pulls out a dead Christmas tree from my bootcase. <laughs> Why'd you bring that to a <laughs> Here you go! Uh, <laughs> wait, hang on. We never mentioned dead Christmas tree, did we? We did. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Let's. Oh, wait. I, need to, I feel like I need my book here. Uh, let's see here. Looks like you've been a jam whisker back in 1985 for quite some time. <laughs> oh, you worked for the Melinda's Messengers Massagils in 19. How lopsided? I've done a lot of fingering. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed you have. So first, I'd like to know why you want to wipe. <laughs> well, well, I love dumping. <laughs> I've been a slapper for several months. I'm also passionate about cranking. <laughs> Sounds muddy. <laughs> I'd like to know more about yourself in this position. Why should I hang you, for example? <laughs> the boss adjusts his bulletproof poodle coat, puts on his big daddy bone shoes, and leans in for a jiggle. <laughs> well, I'm an odd person. 
I'm very creamy, especially <laughs> oh. when it comes to felching. <laughs> oh, 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 no! No! I'm a, I'm a hard lower. I don't milk oh. on people, and my favourite personal quote would be, even if you fall on your flaky hill, you're still pissing upside down. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that old quote, that old one. <laughs> Hey, sorry, can, you, can you repeat that? I didn't quite catch that. I want to get. <laughs> yeah, that sorry. Can you can you repeat that, please? That famous quote. Even if you fall on your flaky hill, you're still pissing upside down. <laughs> you're very hungry. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it says, "I smile with beauty." Can that's you smile me. with beauty? Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, very that's, beautiful. That's, you are beautiful. <laughs> Good day, muffin cheeks, sir. <laughs> oh. I see here you were fired. Oh, Christ. I see you were fired in 1999 working at Rapid Death Duck Shelter. <laughs> oh, that sounds like horrible. Get up. Get up. I just read the next. I just read the next line. <laughs> Wait, let me read my line. Wait, compose yourself, Matt. Compose yourself. Okay. Wait, let me read my line again. Okay. I'm really Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see you were fired in 1999 working at a Rapid Death Duck Shelter. Get fucked, you slag. <laughs> <laughs> Get a fuck you slag. Well, for a loopy reason actually. I let one of the drab dragons in drag, now looking fab, out and accidentally left the Noll Edmonds mutant open. <laughs> I was going through a ashamed time. My aunt bassoon just sniffed at me at the time. <laughs> oh, shun cunts. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Dave's dead. Gone. The, boss, the boss puts down his Frank Lampard's lampyard <laughs> and puts his captain hooks regular hand on his desk while thinking. <laughs> Wait, is this is this boss Captain Hook? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. My favourite line of this so far is, "Oh, shunt cunt." Sorry to hear that. <laughs> um, so I've put down my regular hand. Dave, are you quite all right over there, mate? <laughs> Dave's gone. Okay. Um, if I happen to create you, I require some heavy creaming. You will have your you will have your own crime boat. Uh, <laughs> you you work thirty nine days on and seventy one days off. Oh wow! <laughs> Sounds timeless. We both get up from our deaf sandwiches. Brackets. They can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> and shake Mandela melons as he pats me on the gandhi gonad with his Stalin shrinkter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for gushing in. What's oh. up, my Nigels? For now. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, uh, some of my favourite lines are... <laughs> oh, so first I'd like to know why you want to wipe. Why should I hang you, for example? <laughs> I'm very creamy when it comes to felching. <laughs> yeah, that was it's great. Not fun. My, my, uh, my, my favourite was just when you said, I see here that you were fired in 1999 working on a rapid death dog shelter. <laughs> and I just replied, get, get fucked, you slag. <laughs> my, also, if anyone says any bad news to you, um, the appropriate response now is, oh, shunt cunt. Sorry to hear that. What was the um? What was the I like to it, the the flaky hill one as well. What was that? Oh my god! Uh, uh, oh fuck! I want to remember that. that. So I want to use that at some point. I'm trying to fucking find it. Yeah. It's like when you fall. It's only one page hill, apparently. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. There's a lot. Of, it's a lot of text on this. It's very. Page. It's very oh. dense. It's a very dense tome. Oh, is it like heavy? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, oh, so that was, that was hard. I'll send it to you. Um, so right. there we go, guys. That was uh, my job interview. If you if you if you've got an interview coming up or you you fancy a change of job role, please. That is, you, we've Would all you learned. Hire him? Would you hire <sighs> us? If you if you <laughs> if you'd hire us, or if you want to send us pictures of your um your Frank Frank, <laughs> Frank Lampard's lamp yards. Send, send them us to pictures sit of your job interviews. Yeah, it's send us and, pictures and, of your job interviews. And, and always remember to turn up to a job interview with a dead Christmas tree. Yeah, uh, I love it. They will talk about you for years to come. Um, yeah, but any, anything like that, send it to podcast at gmail.com. Oh, We'd love no. to hear from you. Uh, we love little we love little nuggets in our email, email box. Send us some fucking questions. 
Send us some fucking fuck questions. Yeah. I'll ask us questions. I mean, I, I mean, to be fair, we have actually had some facts come in, but every time we do it, <laughs> I forget to read them out. <laughs> Let's yeah, let, uh, maybe maybe we should do a little holus bolus episode where we read out some of our favourite facts we've received in the. Uh, I was about to say in the post, in the post, okay, in the maybe, virtual and, post, uh, and also we have a a coffee account which is ko fi dot com forward slash sin and gin if you'd like to donate or buy us a beer or a coffee. Mm. Um, so thanks again <sighs> that's another week wrapped eh another week wrapped um, right. fucking hell my side hurt from that one Oof. that was painful alright I'm going to go buy a new suit for this interview yeah I'm going to I'm going to um, yeah Sh- yeah. Shunt cunt. I'm going to buy a virtual <laughs> <laughs> bye everyone bye, bye. I love you bye bye, bye. bye.